We are Legends of Avantress. And this is Dear, the music. Lend us your strength and join us. You find yourselves frozen in place. The shrill, bellowing, roaring shriek reverberates through the endless forest of northwestern Drakkar. A manic fear stirs in all creatures, big and small, including you. The predator has found its prey, and the woods grows quiet with horror. The snowfall is heavy. <clears throat> The night is dark. The cold is extreme. And the five of you stand now at the first true shelter you have found in all your time here. Its promises of refuge and rest and comfort now shattered by the sound that emanates from the deepest shadows of this vast timberland. Despite its luxuries, <clears throat> Despite its luxuries, this place feels like a dead end. The dead end. Your last winter has arrived. Even now, the echoes of the monstrous, cursed, vicious beast echoes all around you. Fear threatens to overwhelm you. Sheer panic lies in wait. Tonight may be the end. But what happens next is up to you. Set the scene. <coughs> I'm outside. You Still. have just exited the lodge that you are um, uh, currently calling home. And uh, you have the elven corpse of this hermit body that was discovered inside of the bathroom. Are you all right? No, I'll survive that. <laughs> I believe you had a companion go out with with you. Does was anyone? I believe yeah, it was I think three of us. It certainly wasn't yeah, Scrim. Yeah. I'm mostly naked in the kitchen yeah, with Bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> on either, on either side of you, uh, in addition to the corpse here, on either side of you, Taishan and Queenie stare out into the darkness. You can't see farther than 150, 200 feet. The snowfall and the wind being as heavy as, as it is, but also the lack of even moonlight on this darkest, darkest night means that you can just see the faded trees before an empty abyss stretches out in front of you. 
the three of you also see a scattering, uh, a crowd of animals, beasts of all shapes and sizes. You see foxes, arctic foxes, standing there staring at you still. Wolves, owls, caribous, arctic hares, some in the branches, some in the snow, others uh, perched up against uh, the sides of these uh, these large trunks of these trees. You're, you're, you're staring at them, and they are all staring at you, and they've cleared a path. They've, they've opened up a lane deep into the forest, and though you cannot see but those 150 feet uh, into, into the darkness in front of you, you have a sense that the source of the scream, if you were to walk in that straight direction, would be discovered very quickly. Taishan, uh, Scrim, and Barnabos, you heard this scream even through the thick walls of this beautiful lodge that you now find yourselves in, and you also can hear the stillness in your new companion, the mute younger sister of Honey, who had been terribly eaten by the Wendigo uh, just uh, two days ago, uh, who you've named Daisy. Silence inside of the lodge, with the exception of the crackling fire in the center chimney area and the sound of sizzling food in the cast iron pan that Barnabas holds in front of him, you all give each other panicked, paralyzed looks. That is the scene that you find yourselves in in this moment. Uh, did you hear that? The beast! We should go back inside. It haunts us. It looks like these animals are leading it to us. Oh, I thought we killed it! Holy shit, yep, yeah, there he is. I will bellow from the kitchen, and I will... Bellowing from the kitchen. I will leave my pan... Hey, whoa, 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 set of eyes uh, strikes you as very unusual. Um, it's uh, not that they, they look at, there's a reflective quality in these eyes. They are dark blue, almost like the underside of a glacier. Uh, within 15 seconds of you telling me to watch the stew, if anyone were to take a look over their shoulders back at the door, you would see Scrim not in the kitchen and poking around the corner <laughs> to see what's happening and very much not watching the, uh, the dinner. This is, this is not natural. There is another. <clears throat> another what? Bigger. Another beast. Not a beast. Monster. What, wait, you, you mean like one of those, the, 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 the thing, the, the thing that, that, that. With poor... the skull? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did you hear it? <clears throat> I, I mean, y y yeah, I was trying not to hear it or pretend like I didn't or hoping that I didn't hear it, but yeah, I heard it! Perhaps we could have this conversation not in the doorway with all these animals and whatever that is out in the woods. Are you able to talk to them, Mr. Yornir? They normally can understand me. When I called out, they moved and parted. Open the path. I sing your path into the woods. Towards that thing. I can only assume. Well, let's just come back inside then. Well, I mean, maybe if we just all come back inside and close the door, they'll disperse and go away. Oh yeah, I see a few owls out there. Bad luck to follow where they hoot. Do you think this cabin can protect us against that monster? No, not even a little. I mean, I was hoping it might. No, it won't. We are no safer in there than we are out here. Well, at least it'll give us a, a chance, a choke point. If all these beasties start attacking under the command, why didn't they scatter as soon as that thing roared? Oh yeah, and more importantly, it's warm in here. Well, I think <laughs> it's clear that they're maybe controlled by it. Look at their eyes. They're you... not scattering because they're its minions. 
You may return inside if you want to. I think we're better off outside, to be honest. There are more places to run, more places to hide. Going inside where they can trap us does not sound like a place I want to be. I don't think any of us are outrunning these creatures. They're still in here. I don't think any of us are going to hide from them inside of this house. Mr. Savage comes to the voles. <laughs> I, oh, I, I forgot it. We were supposed to, I was supposed to be watching it. Oh, they're going to be burned. <laughs> I'm going to run back in. You can also hear the footsteps of Daisy. And uh, even though you can't see her, she's somewhere in the back. You hear the sound of doors opening, slamming, and then she has, uh, Barnabas, when you are finally uh, making and running your way in, enough time has passed, you see, you confront her, and she is holding an axe that she has found uh, somewhere back there. Uh, What it looks like, a great foresting axe. Uh, An axe designed to down trees of the size of the the ones in this uh, forest. And she's breathing heavily as she looks wild-eyed. He gestures to you. What killed my sister? Whatever it... Whatever killed your sister, young lady, is nothing compared to what we just heard out there. Do you know how to use that thing? Better than I can use a bow. That is all well and good, but we failed your sister. We're not going to let it happen a second time. You have to stay far away from whatever comes. You stay behind us. You stay safe. You should never have a reason to use that thing unless all five of us are dead. You understand? Well, what are your friends doing? They're they're taking an assessment of the situation. There's there's beasties and creatures out there. You're safer in here with the stew, and I'll be like she starts to she starts to peek behind you, just looking through um, from the kitchen to the entrance and at the backs of the four of you. What are you all doing? I'm not going out there because I'm not really wearing my clothes. I'm just in my skivvies. <laughs> you so, feel you feel the presence. Yeah, uh, so I'm actually kind of ba- I'm like kind of inching my way back towards <clears throat> the fire because mm-hmm. I'm just kind of hoping they all go away and I can eat some stew. It's them. extremely warm by the fire. Yeah. Warmer than you've perhaps been since leaving the sweaty jungle of Wuze. Uh, I they would turn. I would be approaching the uh, the animal line. And I don't have my tusks, I don't have my stick. I'm just going to be slowly sort of approaching and just kind of trying to examine, like, what the hell I'm looking at. Make a nature check. Uh, 17. Much better. With a 17, um, you've not seen animals cooperate like this before. If this is, uh, uh, these wolves should be killing these owls should be hunting. These, um, uh, it, it, it's snowing. They're, they're, they're allowing themselves to be coated in cold that they would normally be hibernating against. And as you take but five feet, ten feet down the steps from this entrance, it becomes immediately apparent to you. These animals are freshly dead. I want to. I want to walk right up to an owl. Okay. Um, and, I would say uh, that just with a look of bewilderment on my face, and it, it never turns or makes the normal motions of the owl. It is. It is still and observing you, looking directly at you and into your own eyes. It's uh, uh, be- what would be normally beautiful yellow eyes. It's beautiful ta- uh, 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 white feathered body being what it is. Um, it's staying there perched still, almost in a frozen position, continuing to look at you, and you feel like you're being watched back as you as you approach it. I'll reach out my hand and uh, it'll sort of flash with a little bit of frost and I will uh, say come and I'm going to cast Druidcraft uh, the Icebound version which lets me uh, command uh, an animal, a beast of CR 0 or below Um, and it, it will obey my command to the best of its ability 
Because he looks like the wolf. <laughs> you can oh, feel it work on a oh, You can feel the say, heads yeah. of the other animals also turn as you approach this owl. This is a low branch. I mean, Ugh. low for you. Low high for. Hmm? I'm sorry. Low for. Low for a branch. Low for. Low for a branch. Yes. Uh, yes. Um. Low for a branch. Animal heads turn towards him. And you command it with what? I command it with Druidcraft, which is the the special feature that's I think the ice I'm battle. Not, not the not the mechanical oh, nature come, of the spell. Come. You say you say come. Yeah, you so want, I'm, you I'm, want I'm, it to I'm, hop. I want to basically like have it like fly to my hand to see if it will obey this natural magic that I use. Oh, no. Make an insight it. check. <laughs> your your brain instantly explodes. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. You reach into its mind and you die. It speaks. And its mind reaches. Uh, you ten. Die. Ten. Um. It sort of twitches for but a moment, and then it lifts its great wings and perches on your uh, on your wrist, and 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 stays there. You can feel its talons that would normally be feel so alive and perhaps even a little warm uh, or ice cold against the surface of your skin. Jesus. So it's still a beast then. Fly. I'll cast it again. A hesitation until suddenly it starts to make its way around flying up around the smoke of the chimney finally perching itself back on a very tall branch up on another uh, uh, tree very far away. Shit. Uh, but make a second inside check, this time at disadvantage. Oh. Oh. I was lying. <laughs> I don't trust this bird. I don't know. Oh, you never trust an owl, Mr. Sabascott. 13. <laughs> With a 13, that moment of hesitation gives you pause. You know you can commune with beasts. It does feel like there is some deception in the behavior of this owl. As you are considering this, and as you are experiencing this What's the word I want? But they're dead. You know they're dead. They're, they're dead. The Wendigo is next level in your area yeah. right now. The Wendigo knows what I'm trying to do. So he's try, or it's trying, or he's trying to. The this Wendigo's <clears> confounding <throat> behavior of the animals, not just the owl, but around you, mm-hmm. you realize that you are very much uh, 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 very far away from the entrance. At the entrance, Taishen and Queenie, are you watching or going back inside? What are you doing? No, I'm, I'm watching. Um, do what I see what Yornir sees? Uh, yes. He's within 100 feet. I would say that uh, you can see the snow coming down. You can see the animals turning. Um, the more, more along the lines, what I get the sense that these are clearly recently dead. Oh, uh, make your own nature check. Um, the Yornir didn't convey that. It wasn't until he got within five feet of the first beast that it became immediately apparent to him. A 19. With a 19, absolutely. Um, the the stiff nature of the way that they turn, Ugh. the 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 um, fact that they're all out here so unnaturally. You uh, uh, think back to the winters that you've had, as as mild as they are were in comparison um, from your home. Do you still recognize the unnaturalness of this behavior? And thinking back to what happened with. Uh, the caribou that was magically, necrotically resurrected. This feels very similar in their behavior. I am going to open up my honey pot and have my bees fly out and kind of swarm around mm-hmm. me as I like uh, crouch down on the ground. I'm going to expend a spell slot and use primeval awareness oh, nice. to sense for aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, phase, fiends, or undead within a mile of me to see like how far i don't know their locations or it's actually yeah. no, read read the full sentence yeah. um as an action you can expend one ranger spell slot one minute per level of spell slot so for a minute 
uh, to sense whether there are any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of you, or within up to six miles if you are in your favorite train, mm. which I'm not. This feature doesn't reveal the creature's locations or number. You stretch out with your innate in, in, in tuneness with nature. And uh, you push out uh, to get a sense of all the living beasts and, and, and otherwise around you. <coughs> I'm, I'm more trying to determine that they are in fact undead. And if they stretch, I obviously won't know how many there are, but if they stretch out even further than what we can see. Like to give more of an idea of if, you know, I've got a mile to sense this. Like if there are more out further than just this. The volume yeah. comes, comes through cleanly. There are a tremendous number of undead animals in this woods now. Oh, Jesus. And it's not obvious because you don't know the location. Exactly. If it's this crowd in front of you and that's it, or if you kept going for 5,000 feet, if you would find another dozen and another dozen and another dozen and they're all coalescing around you, there's no way to tell. And is it only undead that I sense? Yes. Okay. That makes me feel better somehow. <laughs> Um, I will see the owl do this, uh, and I will turn around and start kind of trudging through the snow back to the cabin where everyone else is. And is everyone else inside? No. I'm, 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 outside. I'm outside okay. doing my thing. I'm like, my bees are swirling around me. They're kind of like flitting this way and that, kind of scanning the area. I would have been in the doorway, probably. You're in the doorway, and it's, and it's only away. at the doorway that is keeping you from um, uh, the shivering cold. Uh, as soon as the, even at this entrance, you are immediately struck by the fact that you don't have the pelt that you used to. It is, it is viciously cold outside, and uh, uh, it, it's only because the back half of you is being so brilliantly warmed by the furnace that is this lo this lodge that you are not going to have to make a Constitution saving throw at this time. Um, as I get even within <clears throat> like shouting distance, I'll say that. They are all dead. What? They're dead. all dead. How is that possible? What do you mean? And then I'll all stand up. Yeah, I can confirm it. Uh, there are a lot of them, too. At least within the the nearest <clears throat> mile, there are a lot of what? undead in this area. Are you still carrying the corpse this entire time? What have you done with this? Uh, you know what? I, yeah, I probably would have kept it on my shoulder. Okay. The whole time. The corpse of honey? No, he, oh. ha he has the corpse of the, the elven hermit that okay. the two sisters discovered and put in the bathroom. Right. There was like a mummified oh, dude. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I could have done that part all with one hand, right? Around. And I just, I, I'm <laughs> still absolutely, holding it. I absolutely agree. I, right. just, I just wanted to make sure for the state of the game. Right. There is a level of deception. I attempted to commune with the beasts as I do, but it was playing along. But it was not the beast. This creature, this monster knows, can see through their eyes, can perhaps is witnessing us as we speak, <coughs> almost certainly. Well, well, maybe it can't speak common. Maybe, maybe this is good news. If, if you think that it can see through their eyes and, and act, that the owl was flying around. It hasn't commanded all these creatures to kill us. You've got a bit of crumbs in your sideburns there. Let oh, me just get those out for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a bit of bowl. Tea Here's crackers. a... Yeah. <laughs> Tea crackers. A wave of blue eyes flashing. Not, not the dark blue, but there's this br moment of, of sparkling that happens. And the animals advance, taking a step forward, starting to approach the entrance, following Yornir. The path that they had that they had, had created gets noisy, starts to starts to jumble. They, they, uh, a fox takes a step forward. A caribou <clears throat> takes another step forward. They are all starting to approach and walk towards the entrance. I'll turn. Do we have access to water? I believe there is 
a well under the house. There was a bathroom with some sort of... Yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that was my question. We should get inside. Sure. For now. Uh, I want to turn before I go inside. And how close are they, roughly? I'd say the closest one is about 15 to 20 feet away from you at this time. Um, uh, uh, a, a very beautiful fox that uh, has clearly seen younger days. Um, I will wave my hand, and Frost will start to envelop the fox's head, uh, attempting to kill it. Um, see what happens. I will cast Frostbite on it. Uh, okay, how does that work? Uh, it needs to make a, I mean, if it is even a thing, it needs to make a con saving throw. And on a fail, it takes 1d6 gold damage. It's probably a gold. Uh, does a 10 succeed? No. It... <laughs> it takes one damage. How much damage? One. One point of damage. One point of damage. <laughs> it uh, chokes and freezes and falls below the snow line. Don't forget, it's been snowing for two days. There's a full two feet of snow. Mm. It just disappears, and you can see almost the comical, cartoon-like outline of a, of a fox. It's not funny, though, as it disappears and you hear the soft thump. You've clearly killed the undeath in this creature. They can be stopped. And like I said, I searched this area for around a mile, and there are tons of them. You were able to do that to the one fox, but if we anger this thing, we can't take on hundreds of these. And you know it. This house won't protect us from that. I'm not worried about the these beasts. Well, I am. This is... They have fang and tooth and claw. It is coming. We should prepare. And I'll head inside. You, uh, all three of you head inside, no, and the, um, you close the door. No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. Uh, I want to look towards one of the animals, imagining that this beast is listening through the animals. And I'm gonna call out to them. This fight, whatever you're trying to do, we want no part in it. You hurt our friend, but we took our revenge. This does not have to continue. Are you speaking through the beasts? I'm speaking to the beasts, hoping that this entity will hear it. Okay. Go about your business. Let us go about ours. Turn back. And then I'll just kind of like look out and listen, and then I'll walk, follow it behind. As you turn around, and you don't make it all the way, uh, you, you, you hear immediately uh, a fox, an owl, uh, a, a, a caribou. They're all... <laughs> it sounds like a uproarious laughter. <gasps> what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> I'll stop with my back turned towards the animals. All right then, but don't say I didn't warn you. And then I'm gonna close the door. You do, and <laughs> you are all oh find yourself. <laughs> Did you hear those animals laughing out there? Like I said, it's not the animals to be worried about. I pretended to be brave, but oh boy, that was horrifying. And I might've taunted it so. Um, sorry. Well, we can't not worry about the animals. If if whatever this other creature shows up, and it's also commanding these, we can't fight that. It has an and army. A, and a legion of woodland critters. Dead. Woodland Dead critters. woodland critters? I could barely say the words. Undead, actually. It's even worse, I, I think. Fang and tooth and claw. What do the windows look like in the house? Are there windows? There, there are three. And, are there uh, window goes? 
Uh, there are window goes for sure. Um, uh, you can see there are three windows. They're uh, indicated by the pips that come out from the exterior. Uh, so there's one directly in oh, front of yeah. the furnace area, um, the oven. Oh, I there's see. There's one on uh, the side of the <laughs> bedroom, and there's one in the living room. They, you can imagine that they would afford great views uh, on this hill that you find yourself on between two beautiful trees um, in kinder, gentler times. But in this circumstance, uh, all you see is snow and blackness and, and, and across each direction. They're, they're frost, uh, uh, frosted on the edges uh, right at the borders. Uh, the glass looks thick, actually. Mm. Um, this, is, this is not a, a fragile glass. It's designed to put up with the weather of Drakkar. And so one and a half, two inches, maybe double paned even, uh, it would take a, a pretty significant smash to break a glass window like this. Is it, is it, are they like waist tight? Like you stand and casually look at it, they elevated up a little bit? Like thinking. Uh, the one in the kitchen is waist tight only because it comes down just to the countertop where the furnace and oven is. But the one, you haven't, none of, no one's been in the bedroom yet. But the one in oh, the yeah. um, living room that you've all seen uh, does actually go very close to the floor, very tastefully. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of like a super modern. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elf design. What are we going to do? Wait, should we even risk eating these voles? <laughs> what if they come alive in our stomachs? Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. What a horrible thought. I, I was really hoping we could spend a few weeks here and use this as kind of a base of operations to figure out what we're going to do next. You know, maybe build up some strength and stay out of the cold. Oh, yeah, it was too good to be true, Mr. Stabascotch. Hold on, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? Look. Uh, she points and she gestures to one of the cabinets. There's um, stores here. There's a tremendous amount of canned goods, non non uh, animal, uh, 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 like vegetables and and uh, lentils and uh, the, the, these kinds of. Uh, uh, the, the, we, we we've been feeding on them for the the few weeks to two months or so however long we were here before you discovered my sister look i hate to say it but i think that we're gonna have to pour that stew out and oh. uh we're gonna have Ugh. to burn those bowls it smells so good but i i kind of agree i don't think we can eat it oh i can't believe i'm saying this daisy and oh i'm sorry no yeah. go ahead that you know of is there any other way out of here except for this door there's the bedroom there's a, a fully stocked supply cabinet uh, 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 cl closet. There's the, the bathroom. Um, there's, I mean, obviously we can't go up the chimney. I think... We go up the chimney. <laughs> I think we leave this place. And I know that sounds kind of scary. But this building is the best chance we have for survival. And if we stay in here, it will be destroyed in what's coming. If we fight this battle away from it and we survive, we will have this place to come back to. And if winter gets, if we get even deeper into winter, we will need this place. We can't fight that thing here. You gotta come up with a plan. No, oh, I guess the first step is throwing out this stew. <laughs> I'll take it very sadly, just eat my all of the bowls <laughs> into the fire <laughs> and watch them turn to, to bowl coals. <laughs> tear. <laughs> a salty tear, very salty tear. For all the <laughs> ancient estuary laws yeah. wasted in the effort. I know it's it's unlimited, but it still feels wasteful. Oh, my uh, God. I'd, I'd like to, while, while we're discussing a plan of what to do next, uh, move, if I could, to the tastefully modern window and see if I can, like, just peek out and see, like, what the animals are doing. Uh, you move over there, and I would ask everyone to uh, maintain where they are on the map at any given moment. I'm chilling in the kitchen by the <clears throat> I campfire. I guess I would be over here. Uh, let's get the map camera. Do you mind moving uh, over no, there? I don't mind at all. You got fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. Come on, <laughs> uh, can you pass me? Can you pass me your 
I would love to. I put my stuff here, so I've been in the corner, like... I would have been in the living room area, Basically so. suiting up with all of my... All of my and I'm assuming just, I would have Daisy next to me by the fire. Like, just da- kind of is this Daisy? Her. Yeah. By the fire? Yeah. Um, you go to the, uh, make a reception check. You go to the window. Oh, the one in the room. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. It's a good one. Bad. I actually made my. my yeah, doing pretty good. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, yeah. You peer out from the window, <clears throat> and you can see uh, a thin fence, uh, 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 mounds where there probably would have been vegetables, like a farm or something like that. All of this covered in snow. Uh, and it is pitch black, but you can see the trails of animals moving around, sort of circling the house. And then it would take uh, a natural one to miss that uh, two huge antlers immediately creep over and into the frame of the window as a caribou moves into frame and sees and looks at you. It's dark blue eyes, and it takes a hoof and starts to... Oh, fuck. Oh, is that you, Mr. Uh, Fire Blossom? Uh, no, no. Um, I I don't know how we're going to get out of here. Uh, they're circling the house as we speak, and there's a very scary creature at the window, knocking, trying to get in. It's, it's night, right? We don't know how far into night. I... Like, we should have a rough idea, right? You would have a rough idea. The difficulty with a moonless night like it is, is that uh, after the sun sets, time is almost lost. And so the difference between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is meaningless almost. But given how tired you feel, it's probably past midnight. I mean, I... I don't. I don't think it's safe to leave now. We gotta. We gotta wait until at least the sun comes up. We, we can't be too many more hours until dawn, right? I'm exhausted. We've been traveling for two days just to get here. Well, let's see if uh, out the back there's at least a, uh, a rear entrance so we can take. I'll take a look out the window, and I'm gonna go run out and try to look out the the other window in the bedroom. You run in to see and... if there's any kind of escape. Um, very briefly, you get a sense of your surroundings. There's this luxurious-looking bed, uh, and the, the softness of it, the quality of the fabrics on it, um, it's unmade. Uh, clearly, it's been slept in recently, likely by the two sisters. Um, it looks... it beckons you for, for rest. On the far side, uh, on Rich's side of the map, you can see that there's a tremendous number of shelves filled with tomes, books of every shape and size that look handmade, and others uh, a master craft. What a bunch of worthless <clears throat> crap! You walk up to the to the window. It too nearly stretches to the floor, and it's the same vision that Taishen saw. Make a perception check. Where are my d20s? I need a good one. I'm gonna this guy. <clears throat> I'm just going to let it roll. Ten. (laughs) Ten. You are peering out, and it's a little more difficult to see through this vantage point. It seems that the entire lodge is built on something of an inclined hill. So uh, instead of looking down and out across uh, snowy fields or farm uh, land or or into the forest, uh, you're looking up. And there's a cresting hill. There are two massive trees that you saw when you first approached mm. this lodge. On either side, you can peer and see both of those. And uh, just as you are trying to get a sense of, like, maybe there's something around this ridge, an owl slaps into the side of the uh, the oh. glass pane and flaps against, ah. the, against the glass oh, before yeah. coming to rest <laughs> and then <laughs> stalking its way uh, uh, away from the window. Uh, and you're even starting to be able to hear the sounds of feet, uh, animals, undead, oh, owls. under, uh, <laughs> on the roof, uh, in, in the quiet of this bedroom uh, before you make your next action choice. Wait, the rear ain't safe. They got us surrounded. <sighs> it's the omen. I will, uh... I'll, I'll poke my head into the living room 
from the kitchen. Say, uh, sorry, excuse me, ladies. Let me gather my things here. I left them to dry here. Oh, God, I guess I have to stop putting my stuff on since we can't stay here any longer. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get out of your way and go lean up against the door and start pulling my pants on and putting on my boots and, like, you know, making sure everything was dry and, like, you know. Why can't we stay? They can't get in. Well, that, that doesn't seem to be the consensus here, my friend. Uh, it seems like some of us think that this whole place is going to, well, it could potentially be damaged if, if they decide to attack, and we would like to preserve it in case there's, uh, you know, need for it later, and we survive. I'll follow you. Me? You. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> I don't know if we want to... <clears throat> Be leaving this place if they're gonna come in. If they're getting in these w- thick windows. At the very least, there'll be choke points we can guard. <coughs> we'll get surrounded in the woods. I think that is right. How many there are, and the intention to destroy us. I say it that. could be endless fighting, never stopping. I don't see what choice we have. How did all them critters die? Ah, that's a good point. Uh, did I get a sense of... Were there wounds? Were they all sort of old animals? Uh, was there sort of a mix of young and old? You, uh, would have had a sense that there was a mix of young and old. Okay. Um, it's... They, none of them had been, uh, from the time that you were outside, injured. Certainly the owl that you observed, not 12 inches from your face, was bloodied or, or uh, had its feathers tuffled more than, than usual, aside from the fact that it wasn't caring about its own appearance by the time you saw it. There was no clear pattern. It's not that they all died in some way. Or that they were killed in some way, and, or if they were, it was not through particularly violent means. Queenie said that there was a lot of them. What if... What if there's no more game left ever? What will we hunt? Well, while that thing lives, whatever we hunt, we can't eat. You're exactly right, Miss March. We might starve to death before that happens. Well, we got the canned food that's here. But, yeah, we might. But well, we survived barely. The, what was it, the kobolds called it? The wastes? We survived months with no game. But I'm more concerned about well, we the... we had fish. The monster. Well, before the fit, I guess we had the... Our preserves and our lord. Do you think that creature can have lord rise up and turn on us? I don't believe it works. Do you see way. a bucket of lard? I'm imagining it's like two big eyeballs on it, like in a rainbow. bucket bay. It's a pink sludge from Ghostbusters 2 in the bathtub. I have killed. Many monsters, granted these are land and air monsters, not sea monsters, but principles are all the same. And I'll reach out behind and I'll grab a harpoon and hold my my anchor with one hand. I think that we can make a last stand here. Do we have a choice? Or are we cursed? The bad luck, that seabird that that merchant killed before our voyage. Was it all fated to end in blood and feather and fur here? I, I, something like that can follow us for this long? I don't know how these curses work. I tried to avoid them, but... Our voyage was doomed from the beginning. Perhaps all this was for nothing. This is a very important choice that we have ahead of us. I believe there are two, maybe three choices to make. One is 
do we leave? The other is if you do leave, do we leave now? Or do we wait until the sun comes up? I mean, I'm just so tired and, and I think it's a bad idea to travel at night when we can't really see anything. I mean, but who knows if we even have that kind of time? Is it? I'm going to come over here to this window. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look out again. The caribou Taishan have been observing. It's moved on, but you can still see <laughs> the back and forth circling <laughs> of various undead beasts in the yard. <clears throat> I think whatever we do, we stay here for now. That is my opinion. Make a perception check. That means don't stay here for now. Uh, skills. You perceive that you are wrong. Uh, 19. <laughs> the animals stop. And instead of looking through the window or at the lodge, you see their heads turn and look in the same direction down into the forest. No. Okay. I need everyone to make a wisdom saving. Oh! oh. <laughs> I don't like this, Derek. I'm immune to all things that uh, are <laughs> that saving throws. Weird, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah, saving throws. Uh, I my remember character. that feature. Yeah. It's an amazing class feature. I know, it's I, really I think it's a little OP. Wizards it's, of the Coast, please nerf. It's because we both have... Uh, oh my god, I got a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> we got an 11. I'm gonna let it ride. Um, yeah. It's pretty great. What did you roll? <laughs> oh, 11. I did not twist it. Hi, Shen. 18. Queen. Oh, 17. You're near. 22. I think Ooh. I have to move. Should I go now? I got a one. A one. Uh, yes. Well, I guess I total it's a four. You a should five. poop now. A total of a five. I got a plus one. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I okay. got a plus, I got a total of five. A total of five. Yeah, because I, I don't critically <clears throat> fail, even though it feels like I did. <laughs> you're near. You're the only one who keeps their head. Everyone what? else is filled. What did you get, your name? Twenty-two. With fear, <laughs> capital F, conditional fear. This so washes... this is not the fear condition. Yes, this is the fear condition. The feeling washes over you, and your you can oh. feel this pull, almost as though a corrupted aura has passed over the lodge. Wow. And let me also make sure. Yeah. Uh, and you can see the panic appear in the eyes of Daisy. Uh, all of you suddenly f realize that this is it. This is the, the, this, this is the end. There, there's no escape. The, the fight or flight rises up in your, in your, from your stomach into your chest, and you feel your heart drop at the same time. There is a terrifying presence, and it feels like it's right outside the door. And it is. There is a slam right at the front door. Another slam. I totally get why you hated that in the straw of the measurement. <laughs> totally and you all look, that same fear suddenly overcoming you. They're still uh, looking out the window, uh, circling animals. They, they seem to be watching or something like that. And just as this happens and this fear starts to overtake you, Queenie, you feel a gripping sensation something suddenly start to pull around you and you realize that that same pelt that you've been wearing is starting to try and 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 and, and bear hug you once again i need everyone to roll for initiative oh, oh, son of a bitch oh we're all dead I roll well for um i am going to cast uh first strike all right all right so we get advantage on uh our initiative rolls. Oh, sure. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, is an initiative roll an ability check? Yes. So it just cancels it out. Because we have disadvantage. If we have our uh, fear frightened, oh, we have disadvantage correct. for initiative. So yeah, so you we keep uh, straight oh, roll. Good. That's good, though. You that's forward good. roll straight. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to keep my roll. Yeah, yeah. me too. 18. Uh, I would re roll, but I know what the first Very one is. Very high. 21. Fuck. Thank God you have that. Thanks, Derek. <laughs> it's a custom uh, spell, right? One moment. Yeah. Is that a reaction? 
Huh? Yeah, that's incredible. Right? Reaction? Uh, I actually don't know. It wouldn't make sense if it's not. But it says it's an action. Derek, what are your thoughts on that? I will pay attention to... I can't pay attention to one more than one thing. <laughs> I will pay attention to nothing! I will pay attention to nothing. <laughs> Do your thing. Wait, so what is is that even relevant? What well, was, what's the significance well, that, that's of why, that's why I have to ask. It's the idea is, like, we're trying to figure out if it's, like, fast enough. Like, if it's a reaction, you basically, it's a, well, instant if, speed. if it's if it's an action, there would it's really ne- be never time, yeah, never any time it. to use it, use because... It. What's your question? Uh, first strike. Um, it's in here as an action. Yeah. Um, is that how it's supposed to work? Because I'll never be able to use it if it's an action. Well, it's got no duration, so once you cast it once, we're the just permanently advantaged. The intent of the spell is forever. obviously that when initiative is rolled, that you can spend magical energy to enjoy the benefits of the spell. Okay, oh, perfect. Because okay. um, so, I would like to use it right now. Uh, mm-hmm. And you wouldn't really be able to spend it mid-combat, right? right? It's like a thing that happens to things. So maybe we have a mechanical conversation about ma- making it a reaction, yeah. Yeah. And then but a I cost, also don't right? want you yeah. to feel like you start combat without your reaction. Um, so there's got to be fine, some way I'm to... fine with starting my combat without my reaction to use first strike. Yeah. I think that that's very fair. Mace also made a really we'll good point it. that there's no duration, and it doesn't say mm-hmm. that it doesn't stack, so we have like, we get to roll like four dice. <laughs> yeah. She's used it like four times. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't, yeah. because I don't have the spell slots. <laughs> okay, you have negative inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the uh, campaign. Yeah, thanks for picking that up. Up for me. This yeah. was try. Uh, you know, what can I say? I'm nothing but an advocate yeah. for my friends. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Abby just said that she still has her skip it if I want it. Abby, I want your skip it. I will contact you. That's I badass. want your skip it. That would be amazing. <laughs> um, I will skip it all summer long. Twenty to thirty. Oh, me. Twenty-two. Oh, uh, twenty-one. I also got twenty-two. You can go first, unless you'd like me to go first. Oh, I should go first. Yeah, I think yeah. you should. <laughs> twenty-one. Uh, 15 to 20. No wildness. Yeah. 10 to 15. No. (laughs) 12. I wasn't going to tell you. What are you doing? A 7. That is not what a 7 looks like. Yeah, it is. Like that? (laughs) No, dude. What are you doing? Seven goes like this. No, he's doing it towards... Well, it's a Derek. He's like... No, he's just saying, like, this is Boston. That is- oh, yeah, this is Boston. <laughs> For real world. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm Both of these nuts. nuts. No, yeah. I'm excited about Boston combat. These nuts. I'm going to cast Bofa. <laughs> <laughs> I regret to inform you that you have a <laughs> <laughs> Who's Steve Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill him. Uh, you know. Oh, jeez. Um, boss is Daisy, not boss. Uh, oh. Top of the round. Uh, the feeling of fear washes over you in a nightmare uh, 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 situation. You've gone from uh, horror to terror now, and the reality of what is what is happening—the fact that you feel trapped in this lodge—is very real. You're near. What do you do? Can you remind me what the name of the heart that I got last Ooh. session was? Oh, the Heart of Ice. Heart of Ice. Is it in here? Mm-hmm. It'll I be totally in here. I about that. We didn't do a recap, did we? Oh, there? Oh, no. wait. wait. Uh-huh. We didn't, know. Heart. Chakaku, 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 can't do it. My tongue starts trilly. <laughs> turns into lead. It's actually a pretty good like uh, vocal exercise. Um, I was kidding about the chaka Okay, let's do this. So, do I get a sense? I felt it overcome me. Yes. The fear. Yes. <laughs> but I sort of put it. Out of my mind. You willed or steeled yourself, and you uh, uh, look to your companions to uh, uh, keep everyone uh, easy of mind. So yeah, I turn, I turn to, to let's, let's get this battle. Are you weeping? I just I'm trying to make anim- dead animal noises because uh. Kelsey's not here, so I'm allowed to, and <laughs> Rich is just ignoring me. I'm gonna turn to my friends, and is it clear that they're all very afraid? That they felt. Make a low DC perception check. Ah! What was that? I was screaming in fear. Oh, I thought that was your like uh, fog, dead fox uh, noise. Uh, that is also. Yeah, it happens easily. to be the same noise. Yeah. <clears throat> it is obvious that they are um, 
If, if you could <gasps> see the hair raise up on the back of their head. Oh, we will we'll fix those for the next yeah, session. That's that's um, I will uh, just steal yourselves against this, and I'm gonna reach into my um into my uh, a pouch where I was I'm keeping the heart of ice, and I'm gonna pull it out. And I guess do I innately need know how to use it? I'm gonna use spend my bonus action to use the heart of ice. I would say that you know that perceiving it is evidence that you've killed a Wendigo before, and that this threat is no more than the same. You can hold it aloft, and if anyone should gaze upon it, they can make another save against that. Oh shit! Gaze upon it. We have conquered this evil before. I don't we want to do gaze it again. On it. I don't want to gaze on it. Everyone uh-huh. can make a saving throw. We well, were cursed. Oh, on his ah. turn we can save. You get to make another save against oh, fear on at his advantage. on our turn. <gasps> Uh, no, no, no! Right now, because he's oh, using right right the magical it's item. F and oh, but, yeah. but are we are we disadvantaged because it's an ability? Oh, so no! Saving those aren't ability, ability, ability checks. Okay, Thank so you. we were actually not. Okay, let's fucking go! I got a twenty-three. Wait, what's what is? You are no save? longer afraid. You are steeled by the vision 20. of the heart. You are no longer steeled. Your fear. You are steeled by the vision of this heart. You are no longer feared. You are steeled by the vision oh. of this heart. Seventeen. You nope. you Does look it at it up. and you you try it's to up. you try to re- remember uh, uh, what Fujao said was, uh, said to you uh, in in, in oh. these moments and and it's just too much noise. It's too much noise. You look past the heart, through the trees, uh, through the glass of the window, and you can see these animals all emerging, and there's this other pound, and you continue to feel your heart pumping in your chest. You are still scared as shit. Ah! <laughs> oh! Ah! 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 Oh no! Ah! We're all gonna die! Um, so that's my bonus action. Nice! Holy and shit, then bro. I will... Uh, this will be my question. Oh boy, spells. I should have been more prepared. <laughs> um, I am going to use my action to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and is it? It's coming from the front door, clearly. Yes, very okay. clearly. Uh, <clears throat> and then I will. Oh God, Sion's theme is thing always. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. It like literally basically punches you in the yeah. in the stomach. In the heart. Yeah. In the wiener beans. The actual heart. Yeah. In the wiener punches, beans. It punches you in the it punches fear. Punches you in your wiener yeah. beans. In the fear heart. That's a great thing to call testicles, wiener beans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's start a petition. <laughs> I'm never gonna call them anything but wiener beans. We just gotta put it on TikTok. You don't need a petition. We'll <laughs> 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 be out there in like three days. Um, I am going to uh, change. I'm gonna sprint for my action because I want to be able to. Uh, uh, one and a half, three, four, five and a half. You get to the door, oh, and you can the see front. that the hinges are already starting to break. Holy shit. Oh, my shit. God. Oh. Scrim, you're up. Yeah, okay. You might as well open it. We're all uh, dead anyway. You saw, you saw Yornir and his clear mind. He holds up the heart of ice, and you go, okay, you, 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 you can do this. Come on, Scrim. Get it together. Um, if I use all 30 of my movement in a diagonal line, I should be able to get to... <coughs> That's 15... Wait, what is it? What is it? Two squares diagonal? Help me do 30 so in 30 a diagonal. So 30 feet is... Uh, like straight through. I want to see if I can get to, like, here. I know it's, like, super close. Yeah, one and a half, three, four and a half, six. You can get here with 30. Okay. So it's four um, squares with 30. As soon as I feel... I, I guess... Well, shit. I guess I'll just dash. Um, I'll, I'll I'll just dash as well. And uh, as soon as I I gaze upon this heart of ice, and I, I I am filled with courage, which is not something that Scrim is used to. Uh, Scrim was very ready to turn tail and run moments ago. Uh, and he'll look at the he'll look at the heart of ice and see Yornir run to the front door and say, uh, "Well, fuck this!" And uh, in one hand, the brutal blade will appear, and fiendish magic will begin to swirl in his other hand as he sprints past the ladies and Barnabas into the kitchen to get uh, an angle on the front door uh, through the doorway here and try to get ready to give uh, Yornir some backup. And okay. That's my whole turn. Okay. You stand there, ready to go, Barnabas. I am going to, um, I'm going to be, <clears throat> oh, you know, we're cursed! We're cursed! Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> oh, it's beautiful! Oh, I'm going to kill some monsters! And I'm going to splash with seawater in a rageful manner. Immediately, uh, please. And <laughs> I am invincible! Uh, well, golden eye humor for you. Uh, of course. I would give you inspiration. Almost. If I go a, little, a hair, a hair above. Uh, this water that he is covered in is so salty from the sea water that it would be. It that it freeze. freezes immediately. That it does not freeze. Uh, and I'm covered in barnacles and seaweed and starfish uh, and all sorts what of... What are barnacles? Uh, and uh, it's like a tide pool on me. And I will rush forward with my... Um, with my anchor. Do nickels exist in a van trip? Mm, two. Sure. I can do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you will uh, see that as uh, you're used to my crab claw <coughs> emerging, you'll see actually up uh, from my back, it'll, my skin will shift and a large um, octopus squid-like tentacle covered in uh, strange uh, barbs will appear, Whoa. Uh, ready to strike as I hold my anchor with two, uh, with two uh, hands. Okay. Uh, you're also ready. The three of you staring at this door as it... It is being pushed, being shattered. Let's find out if it actually shatters. <laughs> like a shotgun okay. blast kicks you back. Yeah, I'm there, for the there is no bad. window in the bathroom, yeah? <clears throat> Correct. Uh, yeah, there is no window in the bathroom. That is correct. Okay. Um, you uh, see the door, and it okay. is splintering, but it does not come off of the hinges. The bolts remain firm, and it uh, whatever um, locking mechanism uh, uh, is is holding the actual door from swinging wide open continues to uh, stay in place. Uh, whatever is behind this door remains. Queenie, you're up. Um, I am going to move in front of uh, Daisy. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna look at her and I'm going to say, you get into the bathroom, you hear me? And you shut that door, you stay right next to it, and you call out if you need, well, shit. You <laughs> pound on that door really, really hard three times if you need help. You understand me? I am going to stay as close to you as I possibly can and I will protect you. I promise your sister that. So do this for me, okay? Make a persuasion check. You got this. You got this. Mm. Yeah. Fifteen. She gives you a nod and makes some very quick gestures. In this panicked moment, it's almost impossible to see what you say, but you feel there's an agreement. Okay. And then I'm going to step <clears throat> in front of her and um, basically kind of stay roughly where I am, but so I can see through the door. Rich, can you move, where Queenie? They are. Uh, the side? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but I want to be kind of towards the middle of the room so I can still be close enough. Yeah, you want to, to like Legolas style. Yeah. I was a little bit to say Legolas, the Mines of Moria. <laughs> exactly right. Um, <laughs> and then I am going to, um, I guess, hold my action to just attack with my bow should something appear oh, in the doorway. Yeah, I did say that as far as ready my action, but. Yeah, ready my action. You both are ready, I will say. Uh, the door is continuing to slam. It is the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. So uh, Daisy did take to heart what you what you said, and you uh, see her run through the door into the bathroom and close it. <clears throat> uh, Taishan, you're up. Uh, is the source of my fear the door? Mm -hmm. Oh, good question. Yep. I was going to be that was going to be my question, but I'm not feeling it. It feels like it's originating from the door. Your fear feels all around you. <clears throat> oh. The the door definitely is a source of fear, and per the condition, you don't feel like you could move closer if you wanted to. You're so terrified of the slamming, whatever is behind it. It clearly spells doom for everyone. Why is everyone readying themselves? They should be fleeing, running, getting out of here. What, what are you doing? And at the same time, you think, how do you get out of here? You're surrounded by animals. You're almost paralyzed with fear at this time. Uh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Uh, I'd, I'd sit down. I'd just sit down. You sit down. My head in my claws. Okay. 
Can okay. I reroll the fear? Or no? At the end of your turn. Okay. I cry for my action. <laughs> yeah, been there. Oh. No. No, 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 let's twist it. Twist it. Let's twist it. We'll do, we'll do I get my bonus is not very. I rolled a fourteen uh, last time. We're, you know, we're so gonna... should we do two twists just to give him the best chance possible to succeed? We think we need him. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> one twist. <laughs> I think one is, uh, is reasonable. One twist. One twist. One twist. <laughs> It gets can you, worse. Can you roll another one just to see what would have happened if we'd two twisted yeah, it? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'll roll this one. If yeah. we this doesn't count, but if we two twisted it. No. Fate. Well, that would have been 21. Oh, I uh, thought that was, that was a five. 13. Just kidding. Not fate. We, we, well, we fucked we, up. We done goofed. It's fine. Yeah, we're right. Taishen's a scared kid. I'll be in the corner crying. You Guess are so... Me. Ready. No in circle room. Uh, you're still filled with fear, uh, Taishen. I'm Queenie, in the corner of my You are fear so uh, uh, intent on holding your action against the uh, whatever is about to come through this door. Here you hear another slam against the the the, the bracing um, uh, hinges that you'd forgotten. The pelt around you. Oh no! I, I know it's around me. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> it's killing you. Uh, Seventeen to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh shit. I need that pill. That's going to be a uh, five points of bludgeoning damage, and uh, you are now grappled. Perfect. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> ideal, ideal. Uh, top of the round, you're near. Before your turn, uh, Taishan, <clears throat> I need you to make a charisma saving throw. What the oh, fuck? No. Come on, that's where you're a Viking. That's your, yeah, that's oh, your wait, chance, wait, wait. man. That's your thing. That's where you're a Viking. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just get... Oh, it's on the same page. <clears throat> Yo, use a different die, bro. Oh, uh, that was a different die. Oh, God. Mm, mm, seven. See, this one I think is going to be fucking bad. Go ahead. Right. <clears throat> Seven on a natural one, if that um, makes you feel better about you this are erasing me. terrified. Oh. The, this aura of undeath, this aura no, of horror being what it is, uh, oh. that you suddenly feel filled oh, with no. compulsion. Oh. A, uh, you're still aware of what happens, but uh, it's almost as though you I are watching it. yourself now. You are you are you are so f uh, afraid that oh, it's no. it's like uh, something body. else has uh, sat in the driver's seat of your own body. Oh no! It's and like Winnie the Pooh's spirit leaving his body in Kingdom Hearts. De desperately so. Oh. You are now possessed. <laughs> no! Possessed by this spirit. <clears throat> your eyes go from Taishen's beautiful eyes to dark glacier blue. And you are sitting there John. at look the at, window. Look yeah. at you, young, young lad. Uh, you're near, you're Bright right. Bright eyes is pretty as a lady. Um, I, is there a way, is there like any kind of window, like, like, like a slit or like an eye hole in the door? There's a round window, okay. uh, very ornately, elvishly made, beautiful. Uh, you'd be able to see through it. If I could take a quick look and just get a sense of what's actually battering down the door. Okay, uh, you peek through and I will make you make a perception check. It is very obvious. This is a humanoid figure slamming itself against the wall, uh, against the door. Very clearly, almost mummified in its in its uh, oh. direction. This is the body that you had left outside. The <laughs> elven man. Can you please slamming his way against, <laughs> slamming himself, it's just desperately out. trying to barricade uh, the the uh, barricade, not not barricade, the opposite of barricade. Breach. Starts with breach. Anti breach. Anti-barricade. Anti-barricade <laughs> yeah. before. Thank you. Obliterate. Man, the brain fog is real. Yeah, that happens. I'm with you. I mean, I, I got so much brain frog, day. I'm not even myself anymore. It's brain frog, I'll tell you. Oh, it's brain Fuck frog. That brain frog. Brain frog. Oh, God. Uh, <clears throat> well, I will uh, uh, reach into my uh, reagent pouch and pull out. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, this is not bussing. I think it, it, what that guy was doing was bussing. He was bussing the door. <laughs> you know, bussing the door now. He's trying. Oh, uh, wait, can I see it? Is there a point in this is so not cash money. <laughs> What's that cash money have you? Um... I will oh, uh, God utter heaven. a word in giant as I pull <clears throat> seven twigs out of my reagent pouch. That's a lot of twigs. And <laughs> uh, cast spike growth uh, uh, spite. in a 20-foot radius, basically in front of the door and Ooh. all around it. I love spike growth. And they're, they're camouflaged and look natural, so I'm, you know, I would flavor it as like spikes of ice and like sharp, like, like almost as hard as metal uh, mm. spikes of ice <laughs> and they're camouflaged so maybe camouflage under the uh, like icicles but in reverse they come yeah. up from the ground and spike into the area reversicles fucking um, so uh, the area is now difficult terrain that's cash right? um, when a creature moves into it or within the area it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet it oh, wow! is that true now because no. it is starting it's t- it's time uh, in the spike growth? Well, on its turn, maybe, but not. No, the creature has to move into it, or if they move within the area. Okay, it's still... Uh, uh, and, and let's just put him there to simulate this. Mm. Your near you stealth rock, and I have flying Pokemon, say, and you still get one shot by it, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I'm a flying Pokemon! <laughs> and then I cast Whirlwind and kill your next Pokemon, and then I cast Whirlwind and kill your next Pokemon. <laughs> Stealth okay. rock busting. Uh, it's busting. It's busting. Stealth rock be busting. Stealth rap. Stealth rock. Well, it depends. If That's cash money. If you're on the other side of it, it's cap. It's okay. So cap. Uh, it is continuing to push and, and slam into the door, um, seemingly uh, um, oh, unmindful fuck. of the spiked growth, uh, icy growth uh, uh, around it. Uh, and scrim, you're up. And for real, for real. on deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't have vision of this thing. No, you see Yornir look out and then mutter some words, and you can hear a great cacophony of, of, of icy sounds outside of the door, and you can continue to hear this slamming that's mm. occurring, but aside from that, uh, you have very little information. Um, I'm still uh, holding holding strong here, uh, and I'm just going to shout to uh, Yornir and Barnabas. If you guys can give me a clear shot, I'll, I, I, I can I can get it. I can get it. Give me a clear shot. Make an opening. Um, and I'm going to hold an Eldritch Blast uh, until I get eyes on whatever's on the other side of that door. Okay. And I'm readied <clears throat> and with this with this sense of bravery that I don't know where it came from, and that's my whole turn. Okay. I would say uh, the bravery feels like uh, inspiration. The Heart of Ice is, uh, it feels... Evidential. It feels tangible and grounded. Okay. You, you, you aren't necessarily filled with courage because that might not be the characterization that you care for. But I'm giving you additional ammo for uh, yeah. why you feel steeled in this moment and okay. emboldened by the Heart of Ice vision. Love it. <laughs> now, uh, Barnabas. Can we can we fix this map because it's like frustrating me? I'll. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. I'll stand at the side. Well, I guess Yorin uh, is blocking it. But well, I, I, I would have moved like oh, you yeah. know. There, there, I think just yeah, so I'll stand at the other side. Uh, the t- one tentacle out of my back uh, is at the ready as well, and um, I will uh, shout out to the other room. Pull yourself together, Mister Fire Blossom. This is not a time to panic. N- not really aware of how hypocritical that was, as I was screaming just moments ago. <laughs> uh, and I am going to ready my action to uh, smash whatever walks through the door uh, into it. All right, uh, readied, readied, and uh, standing there. Uh, it is going to attempt to continue to push down. You know, in playing Dungeons & Dragons, objects have AC and they have hit points. That's right. So you have to... And they sometimes, or oftentimes, the fall door the door blows off of its hinges, finally. You hear this crash and oh, no. it's Blitz down the middle, the beautiful circular pane that Yornir just stared through breaks, and you hear the shattering of glass, and it falls to the floor. Like? The shattering of glass? Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. You could have like done that louder. Damn. Damn. Dude, that I could if I wasn't going to trigger a uh, like. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that was don't. really good. Well don't done. Yeah. Um, this is still. why I asked. <laughs> Thank you. I always Thank have more people. faith in you than you'd have in you. Um, <laughs> the. Uh, door slams down, and uh, you can see the howling wind, the snow, and the body of this insane 
for lack of a better word, skeleton, zombie, uh, with dark blue eyes, and it starts to lumber forward. Whoever's holding their action may now take their action. Cool, thanks. Oh, and does it move five feet into the doorway? <laughs> right now, it's standing there, and they've been it's been revealed. It will attempt to move if it survives this barrage, <laughs> this fucking ordinance that is about to wait, rain yeah! down. <laughs> 26 fish. <laughs> Can I use your D8? Yeah. yeah. 11 points of piercing damage. Woo! And then uh, my bees are going to swarm it. Doing six points Ooh, of piercing damage. Nice. So 17 points of piercing damage total. Okay. From me. So cool. to you. Uh, Barnabas? Uh, I uh, hit, hit with a 21, I presume. That hits. And uh, dealing 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh shit! Nice. Uh, I got. I, well, assuming it hits, it's a uh, nineteen to hit. That hits. Um, there's a lot of commotion, so there's howling from the thing. Uh, if you were listening for it in the distance, there might sound like the, the baying of a, of, of a hound. What does that sound like? I can't do it. I'm not Derek. Uh, <laughs> and I fire off uh, an Eldritch blast, dealing uh, the baying uh, of chihuahua. Max damage, which is going to be uh, four, ten. <clears throat> Only just ten. Well, do you oh, have the uh, first two? Uh, Elders of Vocation. Elders of Vocation. I don't think so. Bees be bussin'. I don't think so. Um, it's true. Is that under? Uh, It'd be under. Uh, they they not buzzin', they bussin'. I have no, uh, you don't, you don't at will because I was like didn't want to get. Yeah. yeah, ten damage. Ten damage. Wow. All right. Uh, the door slams down, and this creature starts to take its first step, but before it even gets halfway through, a massive anchor slams into its chest, an arrow goes through its neck, <laughs> and a beam of impossible red energy just melts its entire head off, ah! and it slides off the end of the anchor backwards, sticking into the spiked growth behind it, completely immobile, <laughs> inanimate, and dead. Uh, yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, choke point! Oh, you said choke point! <laughs> Uh, they're wise barbarian tactic. Let's all line up in a little alley, <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> Queenie, you're up. Um, <clears throat> I am going to try and get out of this grapple. Oh, how do you like them grapples? <laughs> uh, I rolled a natural nineteen plus what? Fuck yeah! Damn. Enough. Uh, d- uh, acrobatics or athletics? Uh, acrobat- oh, it should be either. Either. Um, or so twenty-four. Generally. Uh, that absolutely allows you to escape. So you are able to shuffle this off, Yoink. and um, <clears throat> it falls to the ground. It is still writhing and gyrating like a, a living pelt, but uh, you are free from its grasp. I'm gonna yeah. up. Um, we should mm. maybe we use this for the pelt. Oh uh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Um, so put that put like right down. behind me. Yep. <clears throat> and then I'll use my action to uh, move away from it. Uh, I'm gonna put my back up against the door uh, to the bathroom because that will still give me enough. You're gonna basically move like this way. <clears throat> yes. And, like, but I'm going to use rabbit hop to do it, I think, so that I don't take an opportunity. Oh, well, attack. I think it should fall onto the rug so that it looks like sort of a pelt rug, you know, with this rug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to yeah. do, and that's then we're gonna whatever. Do You're still doing that way. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's giving me the broken egg trick. <laughs> I wanted you to think that it was a yeah. horrible corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know an aspect of the terror you yeah, visited so that's, upon that's us. What I do. That's fair. That's fair. That's my turn. Uh, that's your turn. All right. Queenie, you are standing there just at the entrance to the uh, bathroom of this lodge, and uh, you don't hear three knocks, you don't hear uh, any of that, but you do see the door open, and <gasps> Daisy is, is looking at you. Her eyes are clear. She uh, looks at you, and she make some quick gestures and it's it's difficult to pick out but she does seem to be indicating that there's uh, a, a clothing uh, if, if, if we need to run if we need to leave there's there's there 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 are stores oh, in the supply in the supply room 
go back into the bathroom, Daisy. Thank you for that information. They are probably dangerous, and I will explain when we survive this. <laughs> she points, and you can see she's lifted the toilet, and there's a hole, a privy hole, that where once the toilet was seems to be leading down. <gasps> oh, sweet latrine! Oh, no, on us! Oh, sweet latrine! You want us to leave through the shithole? <laughs> Everyone, there is an exit through the shithole. Let's get some provisions and move. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, sweet latrine! <laughs> Beautiful words, music to my ears. <laughs> And she uh, she sort of backs up uh, uh, just a few steps. I'm going to hop up holding, and kiss her on this... the cheek. You sweet girl. And uh, Tai Shen. What? what would you like me to do? I'm a, I'm a petrified by fear, zombified, controlled by a Wendigo. <laughs> you are, Everyone's in control but me. You are in the back sense. of your mind. You are um, uh, swimming. Uh, what was it that Fuzao said about fear? I, I I can't remember now. That seems so long ago. It, it, I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember. But your body is moving without your control at this point. It just seems to be animated in the same way that this elven zombie had been. It seems to be uh, uh, moving of its own accord. And it very calmly walks over to the wall, picks up the Mm -mm. lamp, the ensconced uh, lantern that's on one of the walls, turns and hucks it, throwing this oil-filled lamp directly at the feet of Yornir and Barnabas. It shatters exploding in flames. Oil and fire spreads in all directions. Should have used both of those twists. Well, I see well you we should have twisted the charisma one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'll see you guys in hell. I somehow missed that that was going on. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow, we got fire tokens. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We'll oh see my you guys God. in hell. <laughs> it's like that scenario from Betrayal on the house on the hill. Uh, you're near and Barnard's I need you may both make a dexterity saving throw. I have danger sense. I do not. <laughs> oh, it's fire bad. I do not. <laughs> 19. That's pretty good. The dexterity, you say? Yep. Hey, you can see she's wearing bees on her shirt. Those are both pretty good. Uh, okay, That's neither so of you catch fire, but you both take three points of fire it's damage as the explosion uh, uh, it rages all around you, and you realize that from somewhere behind you, there's been uh, something was tossed. There was a shattering of glass, and there is a fire at your feet in this very moment. And that is the conclusion of Tai Shen's turn, <laughs> except for you can now make another save against fear. Great. And the crystal. Um, uh, if I'm possessed by a horrible Wendigo, what is his bonus to fear rolls? Oh no, you you. you oh come you, on! You're, you're making the throw. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what is his? Bonus? No, I think if he breaks the fear, he breaks the. Who is that? It's a nine. I say we twist it. Fear is the nine killer. I'm not gonna break the fear. My my wisdom's like two. I mean, it's worth a try. It's worth another shot, but yeah, I mean, it's just not a very high chance. Just one? The fear? Well, I guess Uh, my point is, it depends on if there's another separate throw. If there's another separate throw for charisma, then, like, that's the one we want to do, I think. Yikes. Roll a second one to see what would happen if Richard listened. No, I can't. <laughs> Please know. do it. I can never know. <laughs> Please do it. No, Please not again. It. No, no, no. I got no. the crumbs out of your sideburn for you. <laughs> that was one time. Well, this is one time. <laughs> this, this is the second time. This is the first time. Oh, okay. Is that the only that was the only save that he got on his Wait. turn. Okay. Uh, that's, that's going to be the Pelt's turn. Uh, oh, can it, with a movement kind of speed of 10 know. feet, can it get to Such anything? Such a sucker. Can no, it get to... Not 10 feet. All right, so it makes its way towards Queenie. And it, uh, yeah, it's like a, literally like a, a, a wolf face Pelt. It's the magic Literally the like, yeah, it's the fucking, it's <laughs> <actually. clears throat> Um, top of the round, uh, you are starting to hear the sound of, uh, uh, slamming against, uh, the windows, against the, the, the surface of the house. You can see that the beasts are now themselves starting to make their way and uh, try to get in as much as possible. Additionally, uh, I need one of you to roll a 1d4. Fine, I'll do it. 
I don't have a D4. I have one right here. Three. 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 Stop, Derek. Go back to your damn screen. <laughs> Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't anyone else roll? I mean, I wanted to. Let's see what oh. I would have rolled. Oh, I should have rolled that. Oh, <laughs> this fire in this corridor, oh, like the this. dry One. nature and the beautiful so wood being so uh, uh, dried out as it is, it is going up in flames almost instantly. Yeah, this place. This place your so your turn. And let me just double check. Starting your turn in a, a square adjacent to spreading fire means that you make a DC something dexterity saving throw or catch fire. <clears throat> this could be very bad. Hey, my bad, everybody. My bad on the land. What was that? Is that a one or a seven? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> because the one is next to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dex is ten. Oh, you meet it. Okay. And so you oh. are, uh, ju you're, you're jumping up. You can see the flames all around you. It is very clear if you stay here, uh, you're going to uh, 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 be in trouble. However, you still experience the heat of the flame and take two fire damage from it. Can you move? Oh, uh, yeah. Am I able to move? Like, how dangerous does this wall of fire look? Uh, it is a uh, burning floor. Uh, it's 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 uh, lapping up uh, in in some places against the walls as high as two three feet. But at your feet, it's only six twelve inches tall at this point. So you'd be able to race through it if you wanted to. And Taishan still mind control. <laughs> From what we can tell, be, I'm not sure if you know that. I don't know that certainly. How many uh how many like lantern oil things are in this room? Uh, there would be three, one on each of the three walls. Mm. Um, mm. And in each room, all of them were lit. I will say, burn the books, we have to go now, and I will spin my hands in a warding wind. A Shit. sharp, cold, arctic wind will blow through this room, centered here, ten foot radius, and put out all the fire. Um... A presuming, warding wind? Presuming uh, a strong wind, 20 miles an hour, blows around you in a 10-foot radius and moves with you, remaining centered on you. Uh, the wind lasts for the spell's duration. The wind has the following effect. It deafens you and other creatures in the area. It extinguishes unprotected flame in its area that are torque size or smaller. Well, that's a question. Are they, are they torque size or smaller? Uh, I would say these are each five squares full of fire. Uh, this does not look okay. like a torch-level okay. fire. Nice try. Never mind, I don't do that. <laughs> you just deafened try. everyone. Um, at this point, not. the fire is raging. You suddenly, you go to do it, and you're like, I might fuel the fire with oxygen if yeah, I were I to blow, blow wind into it. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm. Do I see any creatures outside? Like, I'll do one last look out the window before it turns. You peek, and you can see galloping towards the entrance foxes, caribou, wolves. They are immediately starting to make their way into the entrance now that it has been blown open by the zombie, mm -hmm. though they are clearly confronted by the spiked growth. So then I'll just keep my concentration on the spiked growth. Um, I will... Uh... Did you do a check of concentration when you took the fire damage? Uh... That I, just, I just took more tonight. Gold. We're good, and I took three more in. I took three. Uh, I, you know what? I think my action would be uh, sprinting through the fire. One, three, four, five, six, one, two and a half, four. <laughs> you, re you reach Queenie, and the door has just closed behind her, um, but she was clearly having a conversation with the mute woman, Daisy, that you call her. Conclusion uh, of your turn? And I will, uh, oh god. I probably don't notice any of that, because I've been in there. <laughs> so I'm going to walk right up to this wolf, wolf belt, and I'm going to say, it is through, through the, that door, correct? Yeah, but she also mentioned that in the stores there were clothes and things that we could use to protect ourselves against the weather. I think before we go down into the shithole, we should probably collect some uh, rations, provisions, etc. Before this place is burned to the ground. All right, I will protect the girl. You can go quickly. All right, I'll do it. Did you sh you shouted to everybody that we yeah. should load up? Yeah, we should load okay. up, get mm -hmm. into the shitter. Your turn. Sweet latrine. Fucking fuck, fuck, and I'm just gonna dash 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then, well, it's like the 45, 40. I can get like there with my dash. I will run to the storeroom. 
You <clears throat> pull open the door, and That's there are barrels and crates, and on one <laughs> wall, uh, you can see that there is a, uh, a rack, and fr- hanging from it, mitts, boots, gloves, uh, 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 capes, um, a full parkas, uh, a, 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 a plethora of, of elven made, uh, large for you, but still warm uh, and, and beautifully tanned and cured material. Roger, that's my turn. And I will also add, uh, they, they appear still. Oh, shit. And they <laughs> what? Still, they're still. Oh. I didn't think to ask. <laughs> Uh, Barnabas, you're up. Are they writhing on the code? Uh, first you need so, to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, me? Yep. You take one point of fire damage. Who, me? That's you. Uh, 20, uh, Yeah, you, you destroy it. Yeah. So I take one point still, right? Yes, just because you're adjacent to oh, the yeah. burning heat hot fire. Ah! You're just not on fire. Burning heat hot fire. Smells like a, uh... Burn Smoke is beginning fire. like the Admiral's feast of red lobster. Uh, <laughs> Smoke is beginning to billow up around you, and you can see smell. the flames are continuing to expand very quickly in the space. So really you would, so all wind you think would cause the fire to do bad things. Make an intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> you don't. Boy, that's where we're moving. I'm smart. I did my learning. S-M-R-T. Intelligence check. I mean, S M A R T. <laughs> Uh, 17. You can see the wind coming in from the door is clearly spreading this fire. Uh, It would take a tremendous amount of wind in order to solve this problem, but you're not sure that you can, you've got the skills to pay those bills. So a line of strong wind, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide would not be long, would not be strong enough. I would. With a 17. I looked at your character sheet and I saw that you have Gust gust of Wind. And (laughs) Gust of Wind has uh, the ability to push somebody. That's 60, 70, 80 miles per hour. So I looked up forest fires. And what what hell? would put up what would put out some like a fire like a like a bonfire level yeah, yeah, fire? Yeah. We're probably there, sixty to seventy miles per hour. It's not enough the way you would blow out yeah. a match yeah. to make the oxygen that causes that fire to go out. Yeah. You would absolutely spread that fire with gust of wind. You're smart, barbarian. <laughs> uh, I will be very hopeful. I'll pray to the uh, lady in the shell and all the seawater on me and just run through. Uh, and I'm just going to use my action to dash and uh, keep – I will try to peek out through the through the door and through the flames to look beyond the splintered door and beyond the zombie to see if I can see anything through the forest as I turn through the flame and try to run towards my friends. Make a perception check. Oh, you don't see nothing. That will be a, a seven. You don't see nothing. As you turn, <laughs> you do see the same galloping uh, creatures approaching the entranceway, trying to figure out how to navigate. Yeah. Uh, some of them stopping at the edge of the spiked growth and the turning and twisting, maybe moving very slowly and then getting pinched. Um, they, they clearly want in, but uh, that spiked growth is doing the work. Where did this fire come from, Mr. Fire Blossom? It's in your name. What did you do? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, five. Oh, hold on, one, two, three. Bop, bop. I think that's as far as I can get. Or no, I think I can get here. Bop. T. <laughs> that's my turn. Uh, Queenie. Uh, yeah. Um, I am going to look at Barnabas and look at your Grim and see that they're fuck your near yeah. and see that they're both there and I'm going to um make my way towards the storage shed with Scrim to help collect provisions. Uh so I'm going to uh be very fast. And move hopping? sixty feet. Uh, yeah, actually, I will hop, so that'll make it 70 feet. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> you can probably get past me into the room. Or we'll be really close. Um, so yeah, you're, you're 70 feet? She yeah. leaps over yes. Scrim. Absolutely. So one, two, uh, <clears throat> she three and a half, five, uh, six and a half, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve and a half. Yeah, you can get in there. Perfect. 
Damn, yo, you fast. arrive inside, and uh, you can see that just like in the kitchen, there are canned goods. There are um, a whole slew of things. Uh, I can read uh, off to you if you are so interested. Yes, please. <laughs> You hear the screech of a giant eagle on a thud, and a zombified head. Clothes, the, the... <laughs> boots, gloves, vests, undergarments, all finally made, well preserved. Uh, first aid, claws, salves, non-magical. Tools, blankets, ropes, knives, tarps, ponchos, shovel, a shovel, fabric, wood for burning, poles and planks for building, hammocks, uh, uh, nope, the broad foresting axe is in the hand of Daisy, and a uh, hatchet, a, mil- a mallet, hammer, various other tools like a plumb bob and triangle, uh, wooden table, stools, a variety of things, all uh, heavily dusted, uh, unlike the cleaned area that the sisters have uh, been clearly caring for over the last few months. This is a supply room. Cool. It's got my turn now. I can't. I have the object interaction. You can pick up one thing. I'll pick up a coat for myself. You pull a coat out. <laughs> Looks nice. Man, that's mine. It's pretty nice. Oh, wow. Man, it's Louis and Vuitton. Huh? Uh, Louis and Vuitton. It's Daisy's turn. <laughs> she runs back to the um, privy hole and. Sweet latrine. Uh, she'll start. She's not in the wall, so. Well, no, no, I just want to. Yeah. She's not in dust. So that the camera can see the <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Not everybody is soda. Um, and she's, she's looking in panic, uh, and yeah, she can see now through the doorway behind uh, Yornir and Barnabas that uh, there's there's a fire. That smoke is starting to billow across the surface of the ceiling. Um, she's panicked, but she's not full of magical fear anymore. Hi, Shen. <laughs> Mr. Fire Blossom? <laughs> Where are you? He's over here by the, by the window still. I am I'm resting, him I am resting on the, the comfy stops. couch. Uh, the no, no, no. I think, I think that uh, what you do is um, uh, what um do you have any uh, weapons on your person? Uh, Himself? Yeah. <laughs> his fists. Uh, I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Ooh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Good card. Yeah. Um, I believe I have a card? dagger. Uh, it's sure. lessons are into. Uh, if you, if Tai Shen were gonna break a window, what would he do? Probably the highest level. Wait, spell. I mean, am I smart enough to? I mean, if I am I smart enough to understand, it's like a. The, like two inch pane of glass. Yeah, it's gonna take some force. I would. I mean, I would. Th- I, would probably, I, I shot the hull of a ship before, and it didn't work. My fire blast was bullshit, but it's fine. I would. Uh, I would shoot like a flame spell. Okay. Try and, try um, and burst you it. feel your body, and you are watching the horror, <clears throat> knowing the betrayal that you ex- are experiencing. That you you you've been pushed back by fear. That you are no longer in the driver's seat, but you feel your body pull that same energy out and go. Bam! I need you to make an attack roll against the uh, the window. With the spell? Uh, with firebolt or whatever you would normally use, yeah. Like, like the, AC said, is, uh, the AC is 13. Yeah. I think that's just true. Probably vulnerable to fire. Yeah, probably uh, disintegrate, glass. I think. Scorching ray is probably a good one to use. <laughs> don't, don't, don't use a resource. Use use fire bolt oh, or something along those lines. Oh, come on, Derek. Derek. No, no, no. The fire is really? great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. No, no, no. Scorching yeah, yeah. Ray is perfect. Uh, it, it, it hasn't gotten as deep to know your uh, magical abilities that well. It just, it's, it's, it's pretty it's, goddamn deep, I can tell punching, you. It's all up punching in there. Punching Firebolt is, yeah. is, is what it's attempting to do. I can feel it deep in my ghoulies. <laughs> <laughs> I've been grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is negative <laughs> inches week, away from me. This I'll week, I'm grabbed much. by ghoulies. <laughs> uh, natural one. <laughs> 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 
Like I, this win like, I said, like I said, it doesn't know you that well, and so it, it, you you punch out like this, it's and the, like the flames fire, hit the hit the glass, and and it disperses. But mm. there, it doesn't it doesn't crack it. it clearly, mm. you might need to like pick up a chair or something like that, and you start immediately yeah. looking around for this purpose. The uh, Wendigo is Captain Ginyu, and I'm like Goku, and he can't control my command mail wave because he doesn't understand my body. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's the perfect comparison. It's a phenomenal <laughs> comparison. Yeah. You just said yeah. that like you were eight. And it's yeah. Yeah. And some are like, listen, you don't understand. I, yeah, listen, you gotta, you gotta get it. Here's where we're at, all right? Yeah. The Wendigo's horse stance fucking sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> You're near, not paying attention. Oh, can so, can yeah. I roll anything? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's can, go. Not that dice. No, 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 no. This one. This Con one. Conquer the fear. Yeah. Fear is the mind killer. Unlike Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the mind killer. Oh, no. that looks good. No. You should have Last time I wrote a 14 and it failed. We're, We're doing, doing a two. Test. We're doing two. This has gotten easier. Does a 13 beat it? All right. Derek just grimaced at you. Uh, 17. Come on. It's the no. same. No. no. Um, throw wow. it this time, not roll it. Yeah, give it a fucking... <sighs> yeah, get that shit. Andy energy. <clears throat> Terrible. That was worse. Yeah. Nine. Not Try enough. It. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Thank Thank you, Chad. Chad. We're really trying over here. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. Did you break that die? No, I'm just trying to find the 20. I'm trying oh. to get it to understand. <laughs> there I'm trying 20. to get it to understand what I want from it. <laughs> you gotta charge it up. Yeah. Uh. You, you need to please be lucky. Yet. Something something grabs you from behind, your near. Oh. oh no. And oh, you suddenly no. feel uh the 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 oh. insane uh Barnabas. A sensation of being wrapped <laughs> by a blanket that is trying to kill you. And I know this hits with a 24, so I'm just yep. going to roll. <laughs> oh, it's an now, attack, Snuggie! You are now grappled, and you take six points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh! Six points. Ain't nothing to shake a stick at. That's true. Uh, and I will roll for concentration. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Top of the round. Um, I need someone to roll a 1d6 for me. A d6, not I'll me. do it. This one's a fire one. It's a two. I vote not it. <clears throat> yeah, not this guy. Let's see what no this way. one would have been. No way. Not me. No. This is literally betrayal at House on the Hill right now. <laughs> Or a uh, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, no. Or, um, no. No, no. no. Betrayal uh, is way uh, more. Uh, I don't even know. 40 days. Mark and Morris. That is madness. The fire continues to spread. You're near. You're up. Uh, I'm currently grappled by this coat. <laughs> uh, smothering pelt is what it's called. Smothering pelt. Smothering pelt. This is just like a party. <laughs> <laughs> that, that little beggar's on. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what happened to the first one? <laughs> <laughs> This is like a bachelor party at Dave Filoni's house. <laughs> what the fuck? I actually get that. Yeah, thank you, actually. Yeah, no, I thought, I thought you'd get that. It's actually really so smothering. Well, so fell, yeah, yeah. My god. Uh, I am going Star to. Star Wars fans know what I'm talking about. Reach back and grab it and cast Frostbite on it. Nice. Uh, and it needs to make a con scene. It fails. Nine. Uh, it takes four points of cold damage. And it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. It um, freezes and falls down to your feet, and as it does, it hits the ground. Let it's almost like a shelf of head. ice. Uh, it just collapses into snow and water <gasps> at, at your feet, uh, completely into shreds. Dead. No longer animated. Uh, I love how you practice. Uh, so I have. I can use my movement now. Then that is correct. Um, I am going to. Uh, run into the latrine with uh, Daisy, and I'm going to... And you shut the door behind you. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. 
No, I, I, I would leave it open because Barnum was right behind me. Well, wait for me! <laughs> uh, I want to look down and confirm <laughs> what Queenie told us was there. Uh, you just look get a sense down. of how deep it is. Um, this is a hole. Uh, she was able to lift up the entire toilet and pull it to the side, and it's almost like looking down a well. It's tight. It's three and a half, maybe four feet in circumference, but uh, it's and it's dark. Do you have dark vision? I do not. Make a perception check. I don't think I do either. You're going. Oh, you you're going. Going. You've got yeah. to. Uh, from the underworld. You'd think as a rabbit, I would have dark vision. We live in burrows. Thirteen. Oh, I do. You okay. think you see the ground maybe ten feet down. Some some sort of surface that is the bottom of this toilet. Um, In-house, for lack of a better word. Mm. I'll, uh, I'll turn to uh, Daisy and I'll say, whatever you do, you wait for one of us to go down first. Do you understand? And I'll nod her. And I'll wait. It's grim. All right. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions to just try to get an understanding of, of how this will work. Uh, because I know that I have a free object interaction. But basically what I would like to do is stuff my pack with as much supplies as I possibly can until it's full and then try to grab enough, even if this takes multiple rounds, that's fine, and then try to grab enough winter clothing for everybody and get the fuck out. Okay. So I would like to start by stuffing my pack first because I, I assume that my arms will be full with the clothing because I'm not trying to fit that in my pack. Okay. I want to be able to like just carry it out with me and, and dole it out. Okay. So uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six spare empty <clears throat> slots on my person right now. <clears throat> I'd like to grab as much food as I can. Okay. I think. I don't think I care about the other things you mentioned. Oh, and I'm also looking for alcohol. <laughs> uh, you know the spirits are in a cabinet in the kitchen. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't know! Scrim might have, but Andy didn't. Um, I don't know if anyone went no, to the we cabinets never, to No, I don't think we did. Food. No, I think Fuck. Barnabas you guys, you probably would have like noticed hour. it and would have liked not mentioned it, right. You guys were here for like an hour. Yeah. Um, I'm still, so I am going to look for booze though, because I don't know where it is. So I'm looking for booze while I'm stuffing a pack full of food. You are, okay, so... Uh, and I have, I have six slots. You can carry up to one day's ration and one and water in one item slot. Okay. So if you want to do six rations, yeah. then free interaction and I would say a dexterity check to see how much more you can get into a oh. pack. Sure, just a straight up dex check? Yeah. You can buy four. 5, 1, 10, 2, 15, 3, 24. Jesus fucking Christ, I got five. Okay, you get a, you get an, uh, you, you, you slide what is almost certainly rations into, into your pack. It's a big, it's a big bulb, but, uh. So it, just one ration. You get one ration out of it. Fuck. Uh, okay, that's my turn, I guess. Shit. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. Carnivus. Do I notice. The tiny shen is a shambling one that goes on me. <laughs> I would say make a low DC a perception like check at this point. <laughs> oh. Off the table. Oh. He, he's, he, he just attacked the window. 19. The explosion of fire at your feet. With a 19, you look at him and it's not Frankenstein the way that uh, uh, is being uh, uh, clear. He, he, but he's moving jerkily. And uh, uh, he, he quickly glances back at you and back at the window, and you see the eyes. The eyes, the telltale glacier blue eyes. It is very clear you that he is possessed by the spirit of this natural, this, this nature, uh, this nature, like spirit, this can't. wild energy that is inhabiting him. <laughs> I can't get to him, though. Oh, I thought you meant he like arches his back like he's twerking at him. Oh, maybe. Yeah. You, know, you could get him with the harpoon. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Yeah. You, can, you, you, can can harpoon harpoon yeah. you can harpoon him to the wall. Straight right into my right goddamn chest. brain. Yeah, just yeah. Can I scorp attempt to scorpion him? I don't know what that means. I want, yes. to, <laughs> yeah. I want to take my harpoon, the one with the rope on it, that means. and throw it and try to harpoon him and then yank him towards me. Okay. okay. Get over don't, here! Don't aim for anything vital, oh, but yeah, that's you what he meant can. by scorpion. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get oh, over here. Get over here! Oh, I, I thought he meant with the his tail. Yeah. I would say, Mr. Fire Blossom, what are you? Oh no. Uh, Get over here! Yeah! <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to harpoon you. Jesus. 
You get him right in the heart. That won't be you know, lethal or anything. Uh, I'm going to try to aim for like a, a, a flesh wound. And it's very clear that he's like literally full zombie mode. I mean, like, very obvious. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I would, I'm going to attempt to harpoon him. Especially uh, with a 19. You get a, a very yeah. obvious sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll. That's pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, that hits. That's going to be a 20. Unless, unless a 23. Would I attempt to react to it? Um, no, you're you're focused on the window. Okay. Yeah. So uh, 20, on the window, go. 23. I hope I roll low. No, I don't. I didn't roll low, that low. Uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Do it, apply rage. Do it, apply rage. Oh, really? Oh, because it's right. It's, it has to be melee. Oh, that's right. To apply rage, right? That's right. Um, does it? Do it. Oh, no. maybe not. No, it's strength. 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 any strength. strength attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, what did I say? 11 points of piercing damage? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Taishan, yeah. you take like down. and a harpoon uh, uh, lodges <laughs> into your thigh. <laughs> directly underneath the hip. That's gonna get infected. It is, it is a, <laughs> a painful experience. And in the back of your mind, you are in a mind prison. You're in a maze. You're you're unable to to to, to reach out to this. Barnabas. You're almost thankful because when it hits, you feel emboldened by the pain. Make a wisdom saving throw at advantage. <laughs> yes. I've had like triple advantage. Hey, you, you do. You do. Yeah. Did, oh oh. And oh, I wanted yep. to move as close as I could to him. Yep. Tell him. Hey, be lucky, please. More, are you gonna pull him? Hey, be lucky, please. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Let's all just be cool. <laughs> Dude, what? that was like right what? there. No. Twisting it. Where? You were, oh. I were the the eight was really close to being good and it rolled into an Are eight. Are we double twisting this? <clears throat> Let's just do that would be like twist. five twists on my on my fear throw. Just down me. <laughs> just take me down. Just put me out of my misery. We're doing one twist. Let's do one, one twist. twist. Please. It just wasn't meant to be. That's, That's a twenty. Meant. That's a twenty. Let's oh. fucking go. <laughs> that looks like a three. Wait, that's for a real. natural twenty. That's a natural, that's a natural twenty. Like yeah, like, that looks like a natural oh twenty. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, you're freaking like me out. Three. Yeah, yeah. You, you're freaking thought, me out. You're like, it's not meant to be. Number. I was like, oh no! <laughs> it looks like a single digit number again. Yeah. You, you see the wisdom of Barnabas's actions, and the <clears throat> the um the harpoon strikes you, and the pain is terrible. You have not experienced pain like this perhaps in your whole life, but you are thankful because you feel the fear for a moment of the spirit that is in your body and it evaporates, it disappears, it, it, it flees and you are suddenly back to your senses, back to being Tai Shen. You control your body, and, oh, your fucking thigh! Oh my god! Oh, get over here! Pardon my fear, turn is continuing. Uh, yes, I just want to yank, I don't know like what the rule is to yank him. I don't know. It just completely splits his, the yeah. artery in his leg. Yeah, you're going to tear his arm off. It's obvious that he's ground. now himself again. No. It's Mechanically, <laughs> no, it's uh, would you be able to use a harpoon and pull something in, in general? Like, I mean, it, it kind it's of like a fish. Is this on yeah. a monster? Yeah, it's or... like a fish hook, yeah. It depends on DM fiat at this point. I, I think mean, for the rule of cool, we're going to give it to you. Let's yeah, see if you can so get, get over here. Um, <laughs> and, make and, it, and not rip out most of his major make muscles. A, a yeah. check. And split that artery and twine. Well, the barbs exist to stay, stay yeah, put. Yeah, exactly oh, great. Right. <laughs> the barbs <laughs> exist. Uh, strength. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that would just be uh, 14 plus 2 is 16. 16. You yank him and you pull him uh, 15 feet towards you. Oh! <laughs> he hits the ground. <laughs> you are, oh, leave and, me. Leave me. The monster's was, yeah. got me. You are prone. And I need you to make another damage attack for the harpoon. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. You you will take half of what he rolls. Yeah. Yeah. And a death saving throw to see if the artery is completely split in two. Rage damage is only melee. Okay. Okay. So 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 take off two. Heal up two. Heal up two. Or just leave it. I mean, it's fine. (laughs) <laughs> and then that'll be seven. Okay. That'll be seven. Seven so additional half, half. damage? So half of that. So three. three. So you heal two, so you take one net. Yeah, one extra. I just take two. What's you in this fight? Wow. What's gotten into you, Mr. Fire Blossom? The beast! You're a harpoon, I think! Oh. <laughs> well, it's because the beast is upon us! As soon as you hear your harpoon, I think, you see his eyes. They're back to normal. You know that Taishen is back with you, and you are looking again at your friend, your ally, your new family at this point. Uh, Queenie, you're up. I wet my brow with my tentacle. 
<laughs> it's like Edward penis hands and spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, don't, I feel everything, like how those are like. everything everywhere all at once with the hot dog fingers. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's Edward Scissor Fingers. I don't know why this hands thing. So like, it would just be two giant fi- like scissors. The best thing is the way he jerks off because he just goes like this. Like a cricket. It's great. <laughs> uh, Queenie, you're up. And it's really Edward Penis Forearm. Uh, Queenie, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to try and collect as many things as I can. Okay. Um, you get your regular action, your free object, and a dexterity check to see if you get a little extra bonus uh, bonus. Oh! So I should have just gotten one. Oh, how much did you get for, for your action? That's what I'm saying. I spent my whole turn and said I only get one. <laughs> Take an extra ration for your action. We want to be fair here. Yeah, fuck yeah, we do. This is life and death. And also, please bear with me as no, I continue to experience the <laughs> brain fog. So I would like to take a ja- another jacket for my bonus action. So you have a so second jacket. Now I have two jackets. Okay. And I'm going to take another jacket for my actual action. Okay, that... All told, three jackets yes. looks like six item slots worth of material. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, I'm gonna see how many. What do, What do I do? Roll a dexterity check just to see if you can get a little some some extra in terms of rations or what have you. Dexterity check. Not saving throw. No, nah, check, 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 check. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Fantastic. Uh, one, two, three. So you get three rations on top of that. Each one worth one item slot. So you've got nine item slots on top of whatever you're carrying. You're probably encumbered at this point. That <clears> means <throat> you're moving at half speed. That's fine. But you are. You've got all of it in your pack on your person and ready to go. And you've got three like very, very robustly made for Drakkar level Ooh. jackets. Mm. That's pretty. Good. Probably all plant based because it's a elf. It's <laughs> just hemp. Yeah. <laughs> it is all hemp. I have it written down right here. That's hilarious. I know. Say? Obviously. Mm. Um, I'm in your brain, Derek. Uh, the granola's on. At least I won't the freeze to in death. The, fr- the front. Uh, let's go uh, with Daisy. She is waiting uh, for everyone to get in, um, and no one's in the room. So, Taishan, you have a. You're prone, you have a harpoon in your thigh, but you are yourself and you're so grateful. You are suddenly remembering fortitude, fortitude in the face of fear. I need to steal myself. I need to become what Fu Zhao asked me to become. You take your turn. Honorables, thanks for bringing me back. No, you're sorry about I don't think I don't think I'll ever walk again, but. (laughs) Oh, I know you'll be fine. That'll that'll, uh, that'll stitch right up. Mr. Mr. Yornier will fix you right up. You'll be uh, right as rain. What's the situation? Uh, it's bad. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> we are abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Follow me. Uh, oh, no, Mr. Yornier's out there with uh, with the, the young lady. Oh, uh, God. hold still. I guess. Oh God. <laughs> oh, fool! I guess no! you. I guess you gotta walk away from me because I don't have an action here. I <laughs> my. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no doors, Mr. Yornier! Oh! <laughs> well, that's closer to you! Just go 15 this way. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh. 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 It's extremely violent. Um, You've never experienced something being pulled out of you in this way, and you hope that you never experience it ever again. You become very aware of your bones. (laughs) What does that sound like? To be aware of... Scrum would like to throw up. (laughs) It's it's all for the best. It's for your own good, Mr. Fire Blossom. I need someone to roll a 1d8. All right, I will. One sec, one sec. sec. Can I also cast... um... One. Oh, wow. We are just low rolling. One? We are low low rolling the shit out of this. Derek envisioned this whole place going up in flames, and it's like Peter and Al. Yeah, look how many fucking things I've got. <laughs> <laughs> you were expecting us to be like four, six, yeah. eight, twelve. You wanted to solve a zombie. Yeah. 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 If he had let Rich keep rolling, that's yeah. what would happen. That's right. Um, 
I want to cast a That's cure, fire's cure turn. wounds. Oh, oh, nice. oh, you have an action for this purpose? Just, well, not for the fire, but to heal my leg. Yeah, I'm no, gonna heal myself. You, you, you grab the leg <laughs> and you cast cure wounds. Immediately, the bleeding stops and heals, and you can take the is uh, that a additional. Or something? It is the charisma dragon feature. So I would imagine it nice. like uh, That's sad. like accessing a different <laughs> kind of uh, like flame breath and blowing out like a like a green fire that heals my own. <sighs> and you are uh, stop. It hurts, but you you stop bleeding and uh, <clears throat> uh, you tenderly put your weight on it. You're gonna be okay. You're near. Uh, um. It's more like you're far now. <laughs> Tyson uses Helium Mist. He just does this. <laughs> we need yeah. Yeah, we're Reed. We need our, we need our, our, our Mist Weaver. Hey, I'm one. Oh, yeah. Are you? And there's like, just from like, the, like from three inches away from the top of his mage. hand, it like, it just connects in an awkward like line. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will hold my action. Uh, if I can see Tai Shen, how beat up does he look? Pretty beat up. I'm looking 80. pretty okay he right like now, garbage. actually. He's probably gonna die soon. Uh, he looks fucked. Uh, uh, that looks great to you. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Awesome. Uh, you hey, may fine. tell him your HP at this time. Uh, oh. Twenty-six out of thirty. Oh. Oh. Oh, please. Well, after I just healed myself. Yeah. Uh, then what I would like to do? Great fucking feet. <clears throat> is. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I will. I want to hold my action and then I want to cast an arrow at Taisha. <laughs> but you're going to curve it like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like the Angelina be... Jolie movie where she fires yeah. the gun and yeah. she wants to move wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Pit from uh, Super Smash Bros. Yeah. It's bullet yeah. bending. It's actually Robin Hood from Robin Hood Men That's in right. Tights That's when right. he has oh, yeah. the arrow that has to We're hit. men. We're men in tights. Tight. Tight. Tights. <laughs> uh, do, are the walls of this. Whole are they earth? Or <laughs> or is it stone? <laughs> cobblestone. <laughs> cobblestone. Okay. Oh. Uh, and does the floor look like stone as well? Like it was intentionally grafted? You're barely able to perceive it in the low light that is is down there. Um, it doesn't look like rock or dirt. Uh, it, you almost get a reflective quality out of it. Oh. Um. Oh. Give me one second here. You have two seconds. I need to find something that has a climbing speed. A cat has a climbing what speed. Has a climbing speed. Does an <clears> ox <throat> have the a great sci fi film Ice Spiders? A Would a goat have a climbing speed? Koalas. Koalas have a climbing yeah. speed. Yeah. It's very yeah. Turn into an ice spider. Sloth brass. Spiders have a climbing oh. speed. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm oh, just going to jump down there. And Ibex? Okay. I'm just going to uh, make a, has a climbing speed. I have it speed. written down. I wrote down oh, rules for this. Um. Uh, make an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay, I'm gonna turn to Bug Daisy, let's say. I will go down first, and I'll come down until I tell you. And I'll jump down, and I will make a... One of those what things that you just said. Uh, an athletics or an acrobatics check. It is tight for Yornir. Oh. An eight-foot-tall, uh, you know, an eight-foot-tall uh, uh, giant of a man being what he is. Like, he's almost has to, like, do this Jimmy. in order to fall down through this three-and-a-half, four-foot-wide gap. And uh, he looks kind of like the uh, fat kid who goes up the chocolate tube in Willa Wonka's fact, uh, chocolate factory. <laughs> it's just little oh, can I do, a good, so it's ten feet down, as you said. Uh, you break your leg. Feet, uh, <laughs> uh, between you and me, Meta, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, like, kind of lower my feet down and kind of Gandalf it. <laughs> And I'm gonna mm. sort of slip down. And oh, okay. Just, oh, I'm <laughs> uh, have advantage on that then. Oh well. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the 15. cobblestone it's really hard to walk on. Your ankle gives okay. out, and the weight of you and your mammoth tusk causes a loud crack well, as your ankle snaps. He lands on a skippet, and he slides, <laughs> <laughs> and he just eats shit right in the gravel. It's a you, portal to the desert. You, you break your nose. You, um, it's a portal to the desert. Uh, uh, you lower yourself oh, no. down. It's only eight feet. That's oh, as tall no. as you are. In fact, the top of your head, you're just looking up when your feet oh, touch hey. the ground. And uh, uh, you're, it, it, it's going to be tight, but you're going to have to like squeeze down in order to continue down this passage. But there is a passage. Uh, you don't take any damage. You just 
land down and getting very low, almost as low as it felt when you were at the um, uh, the underbelly of the ship, the Moribound. Mm. You uh, you dip down and you can see there is a continued tunnel at, uh, uh, at a at a something of an angle uh, that allows for anything that happens to be put down a toilet to continue to sluice its way uh, to who knows what end. Um, what I will do then is I <laughs> will, uh, thank you, uh, future trains, I am going to, um, if I can, like, light a torch. You yeah. do, there's gas You haven't used your action yet. <laughs> the moment you light that torch, the entire tunnel fills will... with pain. I will use my action <laughs> to, uh, Yeah, make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. To light a torch so there's that I can... There's decomposing shit, this is beneath the shitter. Yeah. There's so yeah, much gas down it. here. As the fertilizer ignites. <laughs> yeah, send it. Yeah. Uh, and just, you know, basically it melts the flesh have it from your ready skeleton. so that we can move forward. I'm sure there are rules about how much light a torch casts. That is how much light you see down this long tunnel. It's like 20 or 30 feet, I think. 20 or 30 feet? I think. You see 30 feet down this tunnel, and it continues down uh, 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 in a straight line at a, at a grade. Um, but you don't see any monsters or, or anything along those lines, any beasts. How much it looks, shit is down here? Uh, it's smelly and shitty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in addition to what was almost certainly centuries old elven shit of uh, uh, lentils and... <laughs> <laughs> Some of it's by fossilized at this point. <laughs> yeah, that... that, that Quinoa on kale. That slick is down there. Uh, and <laughs> the fresh uh, sister's uh, uh, shit is uh, underneath your feet at this time. <laughs> Frozen. So now, it ignites. Uh, you scrim, you're up. <laughs> you're going to have to hide in a refrigerator I, I end if you want to be able to... Not um, okay, how many how many slots do you say the coats take up? Three a piece? Uh, two for uh, two jacket. per coat. Yeah, you grabbed three. I did. Um, I will. We need boots. I oh shit, we gotta grab all that. Probably use some gloves. I mean, I got. I got you like, could grab boots and gloves. Uh, also for two each. Well, okay, I'm tr- oh, boots and gloves. So two each, like one boot, one glove is two slots. Or two boots, two slots a pair, per boot. A pair of boots and a pair of, of gloves. gloves would be two slots. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, that kind of works. Yeah. Um, I will see that that Queenie's loading up on coats, and I'll start grabbing boots and, and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots. And uh, I'll grab boots and gloves, and I can grab. One, two, three, four, five. So I can actually grab three pairs of each. Oh, cool. You do that. I'm not going to make you roll for it. Let's fucking go. Okay. All right. <laughs> then I'm just going to say all of this is There's curtain. really only three of us that need stuff, right? Well, I was going to say, do we know the meta that he's Your resistant? Your already yes, has do. weather appropriate yeah. gear. Yeah, and we know that Barnabas has a fucking okay. Barnabas. I was trying not to so meta it. He's been swimming in like the ice and all so I think you, we're fine. You've been traveling for months That's with fine. these. That's fine. I just want to... Okay, I'm just trying to... I'm showing off my dead bod. It's fucking game. I mean, fucking... It's in these days. He's been wandering for months half naked without death. Yeah, well, you know, I don't really pay that much attention to... Oh, excuse me. Contrary to popular belief, I don't really pay that much attention to Barnabas and what he's wearing or what he's not wearing. Oh, that's what... Untrue. Untrue. I think you pretest too much, Mr. Stavis. Gloves. <laughs> Stupid, sexy Barnabas. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Holy shit. Oh, God, every time he steps, I can hear the clap of his ass cheeks. <laughs> Uh, okay, then I, I will realize that I'm loaded up. I, that's my whole turn anyway, but I'm going to get ready to leave. You have movement. Well. Yeah, you do. I'll give you half movement. Uh, yeah, I'm a little overloaded anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, at the end of my turn, I still had movement, right? Take a, so I could have done 15 half. feet. So that, that would have been 10. Yeah, you're like 15. outside the door. Yeah, I'm like right there. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Barnabas. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll look at my bloody harpoon. <laughs> oh, glad you're back uh, <laughs> in the realm of the sane, Mr. Fire Blossom. Uh, look uh, who's talking. I will peek down to see that I see basically just two small piles <laughs> of clothing. <laughs> 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 I'll 
you, Sam Blake. Okay, we got both of the small ones. We're all here. Uh, I'll look back longingly at the fully supplied kitchen, and a single very salty tear once again will pour down my face. Oh, what could have been? And I will just use my action to follow uh, uh, to follow Mr. Yornir. Okay. Uh, are you jumping down? Oh uh, yeah, if I, there's you room. get there. Yeah. yeah, and I would have moved away yeah. from the from the. Okay, opening. make an athletics or right. acrobatics uh, check. Oh, I'll get advantage on that, right? <clears throat> athletics. Mm -hmm. uh, you're raging. Oh, I, I am. I'm covered in seawater and barnacles. DC's ten. Oh yeah, I crush it. Okay, uh, you, nice. you you land and uh, you can see for, through the torchlight uh, that Yornir is already starting to make his way down mm -hmm. this graded cobblestone uh, uh, sewer, for lack of a better uh, term. Uh, Queenie, you're up. I'm going to use my action to uh, sprint and move thirty feet towards the door. <clears throat> okay, uh, Rich, can you count that out? How many uh, hops do you? Have? I'm out. I'm fresh out of hops. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got. That's um, fine. Daisy will wait. Taishan, you're up. Uh, uh, I don't have a question, but it's all good. Shout out. I'll just we'll move ask it. Well, I didn't know if he's leaving. Uh, it, would I, uh, when, when all that stuff was happening to me, did I actually, like, sense or get any kind of, like, knowledge around what was doing it? I.e. the Wendigo. Check. If that be its name. Watch, I'll finally roll well. Eat yeah, it. is it two? <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is not your night. Damn, that is. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Spells, you know? yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Trust me. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, Use your yeah. mouth to roll it next time. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that a shot. Well, Use I mean, it's not that. Penis. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows the dragons. <laughs> You think that they Wouldn't are it be his... so weird if Penis had a thumb? <laughs> you, <laughs> you're, you're dwelling. I'd sign my name with it. Your mind, your mind goes to a place where now's not the time. Now's not the time for you to dwell on like what you learned come out of the while being inhabited things. by the spirit. But <laughs> you, That's if you cool. meditate and if you if you think about it, if you explore that sensation of being in the third person that you might be able to know your enemy a little bit better mm. but there's a you're in a burning building and everyone is fleeing surrounded by undead beasts and perhaps something larger than what you fought when honey was killed it is time to run yeah i mean when you say it like that you know yeah. you got a point <laughs> well i think i have 30 feet of movement <clears throat> yeah, so we're like, we're underneath, so you can probably get there, right? Like, yeah, I think. Well, wouldn't Honey yeah. have gone in since you went in? Because you told her to go in once. I haven't told her. I, I, when I, I went down and I said, don't come down until I tell you. Oh. <clears throat> uh, what are you honey is mind, not Honey, Daisy is mind control. Oh, she is? she's leading us oh, to our death. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you got to the toilet, <clears throat> not, yeah. not quite down the hole. I'm to the toilet. <laughs> I drank too much tea. What are we rolling? We're not, because I'm changing. I'm I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Love well, can, what what should we roll so I can see if uh, I would have only put one down? It would have been a D10. Yeah, so I was, I was worried that the fire would spread too fast, and it would have been an eight. Fine. <laughs> I think it would have been awesome if the fire spread. Too I think fast. you should just knock the candle over and light the map on fire for real. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Highly flammable. Um, I'm going to be putting, uh, the reason why this is interesting is because I'm absolutely testing like fire spreading during combat as a mechanic in, in some, in, 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 we, te we just tested. I thought 1d4 plus then 1d6 plus 1d8 plus 1d10 plus 1d12 would be a fine amount of progression for the fire, but low rolls don't feel good. I'm going back to my original idea, which I thought was going to be too fast. Flat increase plus dice roll. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Flat increase mm -hmm. plus dice roll. I think that from now on, I'm just going to do it automata style, where it's if if there's a neighbor that's empty, uh, it just, yeah, it yeah. Just that's how it works in uh, what you call it. Well, I was I was saying the same madness. thing. I was yeah. thinking if there's a if there's an adjacent empty square, it immediately spreads into that, and then on top of that, a dice oh. roll for additional. 
Like if there's like a surge. It probably spread flame. too quickly in that case. I think I well. think just neighboring cells yeah. like that. It would be mm, exponential. It should just cool. be it, it's yeah. exponential. But that was what I was going for, yeah. and uh, none of you guys ended up in a room where it was on fire, which mm. good for you because smoke choking was going to happen. <gasps> now that being said, <laughs> that's your here's turn. <laughs> No, that was. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, I will uh, say, "Well, right, you can come down, and I'm gonna try to help her down oh. into the tunnel." I guess we're holding a torch, just trying to like grab her hand and help oh, her down. down, down the uh, yeah, uh, I will say, even though it's not her turn, um, she's been ready for this. And so seeing that you can help her down, you are able to do that. She doesn't even have to make the check. She puts her feet and uh, immediately starts following Barnabas down the uh, down the grade. Uh, it's tight quarters here with the three of you. Without more people moving further down, you're not going to be able to all fit. Um, I was like, Barnabas, you take the girl. <laughs> I will wait for Scrim and Queenie. All right, Mr. Yornier. Come on, little one. Scrim. I sprint, and as I'm passing, <laughs> as I'm passing our, our, our good friend Queenie, one, five, two, he's got like a boot on his head. Twenty-five, thirty. I am ah, curse these little legs. <laughs> Where the hell is you on you? How did we get this job? <laughs> That's my old turn. <laughs> Let's drop combat. I think that the threat is uh, 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 no longer obvious. There are no uh, immediate beasts. Uh, the spike growth is clearly preventing them in. Uh, the the glass is being struck. You can hear a lot of cacophony ar- uh, up and around you. But uh, in just another uh, uh, t- uh, 15, 20, 30 seconds, Scrim, Queenie, you're able to get to the entrance and dive down fire. into this hole. I just need you go both to make a quick athletics or acrobatics check to make sure that you can jump down without issue. Certainly. And I would have you do that at disadvantage because you're encumbered. Double certainly. Oh, you said, right? oh not bad. Acrobatics, my low is a 16. 11. You're fine, and you're fine. Neither of you take damage. You're able to land on your two feet and slip for a moment on the frozen poop that is down here, but without injury. You don't take any damage, and the... <laughs> <laughs> you're also able to dive down. Uh, the the, the um, six of you are able to make your way now through this low-hanging cobblestone area. Is there a way that we could have moved the toilet back on top mm. of the hole so that we couldn't be followed? That's, We're still there. You might be able to. That's quite smart, and I like that idea very much. I would say that... Somebody could jump up, grab the base, slide it to a 50%, and then do this with the rest. Yeah. Stuff to stand yeah, on. I, 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 could, I could see you making that action. Um, well, I could probably, like. If you want to do it quickly, it'll require a roll. If you just do it, then it'll take five minutes. Fam. Yeah, of course, we should definitely do it. Relay this? Yeah, no, I'm not dumb, of course. (laughs) How do you relay that? We should probably cover up the shitter with the latrine, don't you think? (laughs) I think that's a fantastic idea. We don't want them following us once they get into the structure, or the structure burns to the ground. Burn, and they'll get in. Uh, Yes, good idea. Maybe you could help me, or I could just try to... Sure, I'll help you. Stand on my shoulders. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? I'll stand on yours. <laughs> I'm gonna climb up on top of your near. Okay. And it takes the two of you a moment and the four of you, um, Taishan, Barnabas, and Scrim, uh, and Daisy, uh, are waiting huddled down, um, nearly crouching. You not so much, but uh crouching because of the smallness of this tunnel. Um and you can hear the effort that it takes for them to <laughs> and finally get there. Uh, if Bless you, you if you would while you're doing this, uh, I would take the torch. I was gonna yeah. Pass uh, it hold the torch and I'll uh, use control flames to expand the light uh, double its length and whatever towards the towards the. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess actually it probably just does it in a sphere. Uh, you you brighten the light and it expands <clears throat> from thirty feet to sixty feet of visibility, mm-hmm. and still you don't see an end to this long long tunnel. <laughs> Why don't you hold on to that and you can keep it brighter? I will. 
how cold is it down here? Do, do we feel like we need to don this fresh new winter clothes? It's hmm. not as cold as it would be in the exposed elements. Um, you don't feel the warmth that you felt when you were inside the lodge, certainly. Yeah, fuck it. We should trade anyway, and I start doling out uh, <laughs> gloves and boots to the other two that need them. So that we were not encumbered. So I got one pair of boots, and I got a... I'm going to put mine on. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna get, yeah, I might as house. well start putting that stuff on, boots and gloves, and get ready to put my thing on here. We got boots... And gloves and coat. That's all. <clears throat> and then I've got two foods. That's perfect. These. Uh, and then I'm gonna to... give my foods to um, no, to Barnabas. My three foods. You start to uh, trade <clears throat> as uh, uh, you guys are all um, um, stuck in this tunnel for for however long five, ten, fifteen minutes. Um, you feel out of danger. Uh, you can hear the soft sounds of the the burning cabin above you. You can hear um, skittering, but it's distant. It's through the earth. You're underground. You are able to uh, uh, enjoy the, the, the torchlight for, for, for a moment, and you take a breath, and the six of you are able to just take a moment to uh, no longer be under fear or panic or the stress of some external threat without. Nice thinking, young lady. And I'll give uh, Daisy a, a pat on the back. Uh, as we continue. You saved our lives. We owe you. I suppose there's no way but forward then. And I'll just point off into the darkness. For now, I think. It's a shame. This was a beautiful home. Yeah, if only someone didn't lose their head. It was gone either way. <clears throat> yeah, we knew that the moment they showed up, the house was not going to survive what was coming. Boy, that was a beautiful galley, it was. You mean kitchen? No. Say true. <laughs> I don't believe we should dally. <clears throat> we should try to get as far away as we can. Did you say that word because it rhymed with galley? I did not. Oh. Should I have? I don't know. It's just kind of nice. Rhyming sounds good when you're scared. I'll turn to the girl. Do you have any idea where this goes? We've explored this area thoroughly together. My my sister and I. Around the back of the hill, maybe two hundred feet. There's a enclosure, what looked like a composting, what once was a composting heap. I would guess that it comes out there. Lead the way, Mr. Fire Blossom. If you feel like you're up to it, how's your leg? Well, it's actually feeling a lot better. Yeah, good. Sorry about that. Well, Actually, thank you. I've uh, I've never experienced anything like that before. Yeah, what happened back there, buddy? I don't know. I, I, it's impossible to put words to it, but I felt a, a deep and penetrating fear, and then it was almost like... And then a deep and penetrating wound. But in between those, <laughs> it was almost like I was ripped from my body something else took its place sorry i burnt the place down yeah, it, it really was, was quite nice yeah, it was ruined anyway i agree with your near i wouldn't don't feel guilty about that Tasha. it is interesting that the creature could do that to you but you are still living are you sure that's you mr Voyer blossom and this isn't some trick? Didn't no, Mr. it would be clear. The animals that it was controlling, very clearly dead. I mean, come on, it's Tai Shen. If, you know, he's apologizing, of course he wouldn't have meant to do it. You know, now if it were me, we'd have reason to question if I was on purpose or not, and if I was really sorry. But it's Tai Shen we're talking about here. I mean, come on. I was uh, aware of my actions while it was in control. 
saw myself throw the the lamp and I couldn't I couldn't do anything to stop myself and now after you hooks me sorry about that I oh, just saw that you were full of malcontent and you just looked like a sea serpent I just it was automatic Barnabas your hook reeled my spirit back in <laughs> That's oh, that's for real poetic. You should write that down, Mister Fire Blossom. <laughs> Can we be walking while we're talking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone else gets uh, their spirit replaced by that creature, I guess I'll harpoon them. Ah, uh, well, well, let's let's not jump to any conclusions here. I mean, maybe just like a little bit, like, hey, wake up, wake up, before you start stabbing people. Depends how far away you are. <laughs> This is a huh. primal fear deep that this creature uses in this relic. Then I'll hold out the, the heart of ice. Mm. Could save us in days to come as well. Pretty serendipitous. I just worry that if he can possess the living. Perhaps this is how it killed the beasts outside. Perhaps it takes over and they die in the process. And Tai Shen was on his way. Oh my god. Maybe they don't have the ability to regain control. If it holds its grasp, they go without eating. They could just die naturally. This is true. Either way, it will be dangerous once we leave this if it is only several hundred feet. We must be as hidden as possible. We should avoid it at all costs. So once we start to get towards where we feel like is the end... 100 feet, 120 feet, 140 feet, and a round opening emerges. You're able to peek out, and you can hear distant popping and cracking the sound of a forest fire it's still snowing and it actually takes a moment for you to push through the snow at this entrance in order to uh, merge into the forest into the sheer cold but you are able to do so all right let's be careful and Where do we go? Maybe we should uh, tone the light down just a bit. Maybe draw less attention to ourselves. I mean, you know, uh, hopefully that giant fire will distract them for a while. I can just extinguish it. As long as do we need every- it? I can see for a bit, but I don't know if everyone can see. Is this still pitch black? Make a nature check. Mm. Uh, oop, that's a 13 plus, I think, 316. That's good. It's still pitch black. Arriving at the cabin at night, cooking, talking, all, all of the activity that happened, you should be able to, when you use your staff to sense north, Even the horizon at this early hour should be bluing, purpling, starting to see the distant sun, and yet it is still black. Morning doesn't seem to be approaching. This is not right. There should be light. Right, you think it's about that time? It should, it should be dusk, yes. For how long it has been, I'm certain of it. That's weird. That is strange. This whole place has cursed them. Do you think it's the work of the monster? It feels more like what we experienced at the obelisk. We didn't lose days, did we? How could we know? Okay. 
Uh, this is going to be kind of weird and hard to explain, so bear with me here. But have you experienced any loss of time? <laughs> like you wake up one day and you realize that multiple days are gone and you don't know what happened to them. Never. Hmm. Well, it's probably not the house then itself. Either way, we have a creature to kill. I don't know if we can outrun the monster. The great monster. Perhaps at this point there's no hope getting back to the cold world, so. I don't know where else to go. I didn't really come out here looking for that flower. What good is it now? That whatever we are, that thing is coming for us. I grabbed the flower, yeah. mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. have it. Um, and we'll, go ahead. I was just gonna say, what if that? What if the thing that we were supposed to hunt has already been like the rest of them? It might not even be a beast left to hunt. Did he tell us what kind of beast it was? Uh, uh, winged uh, beast okay. uh, monster. Um, something that stayed close to the mountains, but unusually had come out uh, uh, farther than normal and had been very hungry for kobolds. Uh, the test of strength that he was, that Hax had been putting to you, was largely bring bring back something that proves that. Whether or not you feel that that beast or any test of strength could be ammo enough to convince them to give you safe passage was unclear. We, we don't know if this is the madness setting in from being away from sea for so long. But Mr. Yornir, you have the ability to into the minds of beasties, do you not? Depends what you mean. Well, what I'm saying, if you control that owl, yes, which is a bird, if we encounter this big bird, it's big enough to carry all of us. Can you get into its mind and use it to fly us over that thing that's pursuing us? is not quite how it works. Yeah. The, my familiars are just that. They are an extension of the land. They are an extension of the magics granted to me by my homeland. Omen is an owl, yes, but not really. All right. I guess I was hoping for another thing that's too good to be true. Uh, let me consult my <laughs> the runes list of abilities. <laughs> the runes uh... you can still smell the smoke. You're not 200, 300 feet away from the burning lodge. You're having this conversation in the enclosure just at the exit of this cobblestone tunnel. And the wind and snow blows all around you. The trees are dark in all directions. But uh, it, it feels relatively safe where you are, but you know that uh, a football field's length away, there is a burning cabin filled with undead beasts. Um, I like to take this time to just meditate or reflect on uh, the the experience, what I, what I, the connection I had to it, uh, when it was possessing me. Mm, okay. And see if I can explore anything, uh, along that end. Not, not like, I don't know, specifically looking for anything, more like generally looking for, uh, whatever I might be able to, to gain from it, but kind of like, what is it angry? What does it want? What, like, if I got some sense of a goal when it was, uh, possessing me, you know, obviously like burn the house down, get inside. Your that kind choice, of thing. nature or arcana. Ooh. Hot damn. 
Oh. It's like a big rock that you're meditating on. It's just a hardened pile of shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, well. Um, Life gives you that's a cool I would do uh, Arcana. That's more. That's more me. It's more your thing. <sighs> Maze! I don't know what's happening. I'm going to throw them all in the trash. Yeah, no, it'll end. It always does. Yeah. Uh, you, six. Cool. you just got to ride it. Ride the dragon. You're, you're, you're wearing ride your new tiger. jacket. You're <laughs> listening to the discussion around you, and you are trying to find the center again. After the panic that you experienced in the lodge, it's very difficult to find that thread again. And you feel that you're, you you need to, to perhaps take an hour uh, to, to, to really sit down, maybe maybe a little warmth, maybe a little food, just to just to like hone in on those feelings to there's some skeleton key perhaps behind the experience that you just had, something that will give you an advantage to survive this experience, but without something you it's it's beyond your reach. I will turn to Daisy and I'll say, <coughs> is there any other shelter near here that you know of? Away from the direction of where the beast is. Somewhere we can go just until daylight. We were told of this place by our father. He asked us to, once we had escaped, the place of the masters that we would follow a great river up and up and up into a forest up and up and up and then turn to find the lodge that we found he how he knew of it I don't know but I can tell you that river is perhaps three or four hours walk from here. A river that is many feet wide. And the way that we were taught about what I think we're facing, even the monsters that controlled us there told us not to consume ourselves for the law of the land being what it is. This outcome, this consequence, this curse being what it is. Yeah, you curse. That if it should ever happen, that we should find running water. That we would be able to be safe there. I don't know more than that, but perhaps it's frozen though. It makes no sense. It would be a frozen river. There's no way that we would be safe there. Look, I'm certainly not built for this, you know, uh, maybe as much as Queenie is or any of you guys, but uh, I was going to say, even if we don't go back to the the, 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 the Kobold clan, following, uh, you know, uh, some sort of running water has to be a good idea, but you're suggesting that it might offer some sort of protection from this thing? It might not be able to cross, perhaps? I've huh. never experienced this. This is as new to me as it is to you. Well, you had me at water. I feel much more comfortable by a river, even though it's fresh water, than on dry land. If you know the way, we shall march through the night and make shelter and rest there. <clears throat> Are we all right with that if it doesn't take us back in the direction of the kobolds? I mean, I'm certainly not torn one way or the other. Running water sounds like a good thing to me. Either way, we have to outrun winter. Isn't that right, Mr. Yornir? We yes. can outrun winter. We have to make our way, our way as far north as we can before we all freeze in icicles. 
one of the question is, is if the kobolds can truly offer us shelter in whatever land they spoke of. But it is a gamble. If they do not make good on that promise, then we would be doomed. Or we die searching for that thing. What thing? The, as in the, the, the river? No, the beast. I mean, we go all out of our way to prove our worth to these kobolds. We might die in the process anyway. Let us get to the river. It is unwise to do anything else until daylight. Daylight. Which, so, we go in darkness then. Doesn't seem like we have a choice. We need to get as far away from this place as possible. Watch which direction is the river from here. North. Grab onto my walking stick. And I'll just follow that pole north that I constantly feel. It's true north. And you feel the pole. You never waver. With the exception of moving for the facets of the land around trees, uh, you have a, a, a deep sense of what north feels like. And true to her word, though it takes you perhaps five or six hours in this trek because of the amount of snow now starting to tease into the two and a half three foot deep zone you are able to push through and start to make your way towards this great river described by Daisy and you reach the, the river's edge with the six of you you are able to uh, look across its visibility is low you only can see maybe 300 feet out but you know that you are at a river's edge because it stops and then hits what looks like ice stretching out into nothingness in all directions what do you do? this tale you were taught about running water They, just because the top layer is frozen does not mean that water does not run beneath. So I call all those pike. <clears throat> we camp on the ice. You think it can't approach running water? That's the current walking theory. <laughs> what she says is true. It is the safest place for us to be. You start to make your way across the river. And trekking into this river uh, is unlike the experiences that you've had with rivers previously. I say that because it's not flat. This is very evidently a roaring rapids uh, mm. during warmer times. What has frozen, there are shelves that stop mm. and continue to move forward. There are mm. there are there are little um, uh, downrushes and cascades that 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 make their way. Uh, you you actually have to navigate very slowly and carefully in order to continue across it. You go two hundred feet. You go five hundred feet. You go seven hundred feet. You're starting to make your way across this river. Daisy was not lying, and still the sun does not rise. Still it is. Impossibly midnight at at all times. You 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 seem to still be within the presence of this, for lack of a better word, corruption. And you make it as far as you feel like going across this wide river before stopping and taking a moment to make camp, perhaps. Thank you, Socard, for the subscription. Thank you. Thank you. 30, 30 months. 30 months. Oh, wow. 30 freaking months. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. man. Thank you. Well, we're in the middle of the river. We'll be able to see it coming for quite a ways if... It's been another six hours. 
we are dealing with great evil. So this whole place is cursed then. So the question is if this corruption of this beast, this monster, if it is following us and causing this, perhaps we need to cross the river in its entirety to escape? Or do we camp here? Well, uh, in, in our haste to grab supplies, I, I got a few food rations, but I couldn't grab any wood. Uh, we still have some of the candles left, but not many of them. Here's what I propose. We take the time to cross the river. Then we know that at least an entire river is between us and where the beast was. Then we can. We keep watch. And if we need to flee, we flee under the ice. And we test our theory. I don't know the range of its influence. What if it can't cross the ice, but it's, it can control beasts on the other side? We might, we might all camp and set up and try to sleep only to wake to be surrounded by another hundred animals. Then we'll have to kill beasties either way. Um, we're going to have a watch regardless. Nobody's going to sleep without keeping people on watch. I'll have to I'm, take shifts. Unless they can't step onto the ice. Well, then, like you said, we'll have to retreat. Let us cross the river. Then we can make a decision. Should we go back onto the ice to camp, or we camp on land? No. Wait, what's that? <laughs> you hear the sound of galloping. You can't see more than 300 feet in all directions. It's too dark. Wind and snow howls all around you, standing on this precarious shelf of the frozen rapids in the middle of this river. When, through the darkness, you see what is very obviously a mature version of what you initially encountered when Roland transformed. No longer bound by its human form. It is massive and tall, huge long arms and legs stretch out in all directions. Its face is no longer just a caribou skull, but three massive mouths, all stretched out in all directions. You can see it galloping. It's starting to move closer and closer in on crossing the river and getting closer and closer to you. You are immediately uh, uh, alerted to its presence. It, it, is, it is galloping over, not running water, but ice. And it is directly in front of you. And when it skids to a stop, seeing its prey, it looks up into the darkness of the sky and screams once again. The scream is deafening. You are all conditionally deafened by the scream. You are broken in the ears as, as this happened, and you realize that the scream shatters the entire space. Horrified, you are additionally alerted to the fact that the shelf of ice that you are standing on breaks underneath you. No longer are you standing on a frozen river, but the entire river shatters in all directions and begins to swim forward. Now, you are on a ice flow, down a rapid river, experiencing the horror of the Wendigo ready for its next meal. And that is where we'll end tonight's session. Jesus oh, Christ! Holy Wait, are we in the water? No, we're, we're on the ice. We're on like a you are shelf standing, of ice. You are standing that's... on a raft made of ice, essentially, oh. starting to travel down river. Oh. You got shot up. Oh. Hell, we're fucking quick. <laughs> Deafened and with a, with a wind to go. So we're on the ice with it. Yeah. 
I'll just fail my whiz save now. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. will. Just start rolling I'm already frightened. I'm already you should, frightened. You have a month to find a d20 that is uh, weighted. That is weighted. <laughs> so. Goodness gracious. <laughs> We're not done. Oh, uh, I think I think maybe. Well, we might be done. But yeah, <laughs> we as we as our characters might be toast, but the players are not. We're gonna do a bunch of some shows. The players, right. they will. It's time host. to talk about our favorite oh. moments. Talk about our theories, Michael. After we heard the screech of an eagle and a thud on the roof, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know where this is going. Rolling, shambling humanoid figure <laughs> emerges from the fireplace. He sticks up his thumb and says, I'm going to Coombs. <laughs> L.S. Coombs, zombified, returns. He's the real BBG. Dun, 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 dun. He, he did it, but he will and did return. Da, da, yeah. uh, I'm back. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday, for those that aren't sticking around for Vance and Joe. Yeah. We're back on Tuesday. This time when we say we're going live with Root, we'll actually mean it. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Or I'll say we're going live with Icebound, and it'll be Root. Yes. Who knows? Who knows? I guess you'll have to show up and find out on Tuesday to find out. Yep. Uh, So we're playing Root on Tuesday, Uh, and then the following week we're playing Root and then Beneath Dark Wings. So it's the 16th. Oh shit! 18th. 18th 18th. 18th of June. Of June is a Saturday. Not a big enough difference. Um. (laughs) So join the Discord if you're new. Uh, Otherwise, we will begin our post-session discussion.